So how are you doing? Doing all right. At least not everyone's sick at my house. Eh, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm only saying that because I am not recording. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like you caught it, too. Or got some. I don't know. Well, I am part of everyone. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Right, yeah, taking a look at the... Uh, uh, a little, a little something I'm not sure we're allowed to go into. You know, the thing. Mm. The the thing thing. The, 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 uh, uh, the yeah, doc- I, I... Yeah, the document that Greyshot set up. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to go into that yet. Or maybe he will be interested. In, at least, probably mentioning it in passing. Then again, only I am now only bringing it up, so it's like, oh, alright. Also, by the way, uh, probably not going to be able to finish that match, unfortunately. Uh, you sure about that? Uh, I got to the main part, and that's when I started getting sick, so Uh it kind of hurts to look at a computer screen. Well, no, that's, I mean, if it's just temporarily sick, you know, you don't have to finish it now. Don't worry about finishing it now. I would like for you to finish it before June. Or July. So you should have plenty of time. So if you just need a break from writing it, you should have plenty of time to do that. So I know I'm I'll being... try doing I'll try finishing it before February's done. Alright, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's cool, man, because you know, these things happen. I know I say it's like, oh, I'm gonna get this match. I've had works in a while over the weekend. It's not happening. <laughs> <coughs> oh, good. Oh, goodness me. You're going to have to put up. We're going to be in the hospital again at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> I know Alex doesn't like how I influence you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a lot of sneezing and coughing at my house right now. Mm-hmm. I would not be surprised if we heard that in the background. Just all in the I back. got my door closed. Uh, I can hear it, but you guys probably won't be able to. Oh, uh, probably. Mm, that's how it always is. So. Whew. Now I have to... Oh, no, I... <laughs> what the heck? What are you look at it? Oh no. Uh some friends just sent a meme over the fa- like Facebook Messenger. Oh no. Changed the coronavirus's name to Kung Flu. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kung flu. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <sighs> Here, I'll post it in memes. Sure. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I don't know if if uh, Instagram images show up in here though. So. Right. <coughs> oh, it does. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Kung flu. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Going well. All right. I think Alex said he wasn't able to join this time around, so I don't think there's very much we could do about that. Uh, Nagoda. So are you t- are you sick too, Grayshot? I uh, not the moment. So why? What ha- something happened? Uh, um. Nagoda's whole family's sick, and he's probably sick by extension too, from the sound of it. So. Oh damn. Uh, just be careful how many times you sniffle, man. I uh, can really pick up on that. All right. Uh, that reminds me of this one time, too, where my family got sick, and I was the only one that was like, oh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> All right, cool. Joe might be hopping in today. Awesome. Uh, sweet. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, only two KWC matches, and there's also the KWC Awards, the KWC Survey, and the KWCE Awards. 
Uh, yeah, can, uh, can, can to which see... I can pr pretty right. much go over it all because I don't think there's not gonna. I don't think there's gonna be anything that really is gonna like change. That, that's gonna change. Yeah. Right. I I'm gonna save the KWC E Awards for February's KWCC, uh, just so that way I know because I know by the 31st it's done. That's it. So. Hello, hello, fat bacon unicorn. How thee do? Eh, all right. You? Uh, everyone's doing all right except Nagoda, who is sick. The poor boy is Aww. sick. Mm -hmm. And nah, now, that's... now that I don't have Alex to get on me, I could just say, "Are you doing okay, Nagoda?" <laughs> 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 uh, anyway. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. We can now all be honest with ourselves. Honestly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when he's not here, I shall carry on the legacy. <laughs> implies you are lying. Yeah, it implies you are lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he always does that. Freaking uh, Alex, that uh, Alex is something else. Golly, it's so dumb. It's great. I love it. <laughs> uh, well, since we got at least four people here temporarily, sure. Uh, yeah, I think today. I think we'll go over more of the KWC survey stuff more today. If that's all right with you, Gray Shot. Yeah, definitely. Because I don't think, like you said, I don't think there was, like, I think we got most of our results in holding this KWCC, like, later in the month. So it's like, yeah, I think you'll, like, I think things have probably stabilized to a point where, uh, like, it'll just stabilize to a point where it's probably not going to change. But I, th like, you know, there's always that weird you know, f fluke of nature where it's like one character suddenly gets a resurgence for some reason. Yeah, there might be a, uh, there, you know, someone might get a buffer, you know, someone might get something at the very end, but I doubt it'll be uh, too significant. Yeah, or if it is significant, we'll just go over it next podcast and clear it up, so. Yeah, exactly. Alright. But yeah, no, re regardless, um, yeah, I, I, from everything I've seen, there shouldn't be too much of a change. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. So, just because I feel like stroking my own ego today, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's begin. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone, and welcome again to a new year and a new month of the KWCC. I am your host, Kaiju X, and a new decade. I completely forgot to say that. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I only get to do it once every ten years, and it's, we're only five years in. What can I say? Uh, I am your host, Kaiju X, and with me today, I have Fat Bacon Unicorn, Grey Shot 151, and Nagoda. Hello, everyone. <sighs> so. Oi. Hey. And I think everyone will probably know to go to sick because I'm going to be leaving that first part. And anyway, and today we will be going over the first of really only two matches for the month. Shockingly. It's a shocking few amount that we'll be able to really talk about on the KWC front. But I think the KWC results are more important. So, but with that said, let's kick off this new year strong with match 281. Angurus Showa versus Angurus 2001. Whew. All right. So we'll go for the top. Bacon, what do you think of the match? Pure Kino. Uh, uh, what does that as mean? My, as Translation? Uh, Kino means really good. Yeah. It's an Alex. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I got it from him. Yep. Uh... As a sequel to my favorite match from the original era, it holds up really nice. I really enjoyed the match all the way through, and I'm, I'm glad that we have a Guardian monster. I'm glad we have a new version of Angiris. It, all around, very happy with this one. You did a good job, Kaiju X. Thank you for stroking my ego. 
<laughs> You're welcome. It won't happen again for a year. Oh gosh, no kidding. <laughs> 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 nah, that should change. My New Year's resolution is to write more KWC matches for 2020. So you know, and I think you'll be seeing. I think you'll be seeing more of that down the line. Uh, all right. Uh, did you have anything else to say? Or uh, no. All, all around, I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Gray shot. What do you think of 281? I thought this was a really cool match. Uh, again, I think it was unexpected considering uh, we'll get to the survey in a little bit, but mm -hmm. Anguirus 2001 was not on the list, so I do like well, – probably one of my favorite reactions was people using it for like a fan-made monster. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, the uh, the actual match itself was really good. I think the original still has that charm to it that uh, still makes it just a little bit better than this one. Um but again, this is a really, really good sequel, and I honestly like that uh, how the ending turned out for the monsters. Uh, obviously, both you gave enough distinct personality for both Inguirses, so that way you knew which one uh, you could tell them easily apart. So I, I really enjoyed that fact. But yeah, no, overall, uh, really, really, really good match here. Some great stuff. I'm sorry. I think I misheard you say this is the greatest match ever made. Uh, no, <laughs> Just did kidding. Did not say that. That was a really, really, really good one. Um, I, I quite enjoyed it. No, no. Personally, I think I liked it. I, I, this one was uh, I, there wasn't. It, I, the best way I can describe it is there was a, it was a, it was a soft, touching ending, but didn't have the emotion. I think the last one did hmm. a little bit. I think the I mean, I like that, but this one still was very good. I liked it. I liked how the ending was. The last one was like a little bit bittersweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's but this one's a little bit more happy ending, whereas the other one was oh definitely bittersweet, which I loved about it. Uh, no, I was I, I was obviously just jagging around saying it's like oh is this the best match ever. No, I'm 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 open to any sort of like you know differing opinions or criticisms or what have you. So it's like no, nah, that's fine. Oh. <sighs> Uh, Nagoda, uh, like, before I get into, I guess, more of the history of this match, if you will, since I do have a few things to say about it, uh, Nagoda, what'd you think of the match? It was pretty fun. Like how it's a sequel to Ingeris vs. Mothra, how Ingeris is feeling a bit bad about killing Mothra. Didn't expect an ice version of Ingeris. Didn't, it, didn't really expect for it even an ice monster to just be yellow. <laughs> I mean, no one suspects the ice monster. Beware the yellow also, ice. He's, yep. Also, he's shorter than Ingaris? Yes. Ah. Yes, that, he is. That'll be interesting. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I think the important thing to keep in mind on the scaling front, Ang Showa Ingaris is 90 meters bipedal. Like, he's standing up. He is 90 meters tall. To the Angura, yeah. 2001 Anguirus is 60 meters on all fours. So there is still a little bit of height to him, but the way they are both measured are very different. And I think it's, but. Okay, so uh, 60 on all fours? Yes. Uh, 2001 Anguirus is 60 on all fours. Showa is 90 on his hind legs. So that is. Ah, it. so he's taller on hind legs then. Uh, I, I think, like, you know, I think they're both about even when Anguirus is on all fours. But, yeah, when Anguirus is standing, when regular Showa Anguirus is standing up, uh, like, yeah, 90 meters. He is taller. So, but yeah, okay. uh, Anguirus is purposely very much on the smaller uh, smaller side. Partially because that's how it was in the GMK draft. I did use the measurements of the, I guess kind of like the uh, height ratio between Angura and Godzilla in that movie, or in that proposed movie. Like, there is a scaling of how tall the two would have been, and I just used that as a uh, reference point. And that's how and I came up with 60 meters. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So Also, Banner looks pretty fun. Yeah, I didn't mention it, but the banner is really good. I, I'm a fan of, like, the back-to-front shots. Mm -hmm. And this one definitely has... Uh, and we are looking like this, like, I, I, I don't know who created the actual, like, uh, 
Oh, like the, the Angura, uh, like Angura model. Oh, but yes, it's really good. Oh, yes, uh, that will be attributed to Ultimate Ditto. He colorized the Angura. Uh, he colorized the Angura images for PNGs for use. Uh, otherwise, they are colorized from the original model uh, that you've seen all around on the internet. So. Um, okay okay but yeah ultimate ditto yeah, no, he did a good job with it yeah yeah ultimate ditto did a really good job at colorizing uh, a lot of the images for angira they came out really nice really organic i was gonna say that myself uh hey birdman uh, welcome we're gushing over a banner do you have any input on that 280s banner uh oh he can't hear us he okay there he goes all right uh birdman i guess now that we, now that you're here uh what'd you think of 281 or e you can even just type it, because uh, I know in 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 the wonderful land of Britain, uh, it's pretty late for you. So, oh no, he's muted. Guess he'll be back in a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this one I know. Yeah, uh, and Grisha, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on any of this. Though I'm pretty sure it's right. <laughs> This match, I think, kind of served... Like, not only does this match sort of serve... Uh, the inclusion of Angers 2001 and the match itself, I think it was there was a lot of things I was riding on this one in particular uh, when it came to... I guess just like its creation, its inception. Angura's inclusion was definitely stemmed from the fact that we didn't have a GMK rep. And unfortunately, none of the other GMK reps can really be added. For all, various. For all various reasons and circumstances, I don't think we're going to be having any more GMK representatives. But when upon further like research and stuff and i was i think i was just kind of minding my own business one day actually and i was just looking through the gmk stuff that my bro updated on and then it clicked we allow scrapped monsters and we have enough information on angers 2001 to make it work like, we know his backstory, we know enough about the proto-GMK project to get some nice in-depth analysis. We have all, we just had substantial information, even if we didn't have concept art, per se. Like, we still had enough, sub, enough information to, uh, like, write the character. Yeah. And it was like, oh, oh, it's like, it, it was like an epiphany. A, a divine vision had appeared before my eyes. I, and I think I, like, literally ran to Grayshot and said, Grayshot, can we please add this version of Angurus? And I, I think I, like, listed all the reasons why. It's like, he's an ice monster, which, again, is something you do not find in just Kaiju Front anywhere. There are so few ice monsters that you could pretty much count them with, like, one to two hands. We have like one other, right, Gazora? Re technically, but I wouldn't say he's I he's cold, not ice. And if you want to go even more technical, even though we got rid of him, Goliath causes snow. Right, Goliath causes snowstorms. Kiru has absolute zero. Jet Jaguar is the liquid nitrogen. Those are about the best. And of he prongs. only got to use it once. Yep, but yeah, uh, like you know, there are so few ice-related monsters. That we have, that just yeah yeah, there's just so few. So it's like we got the ice front covered. People really seem to enjoy multiples of a certain monster. And I think uh, uh like not just the writers but uh, the audience. And I'm hoping this really helps getting more Angura matches out there. Like, you know, yeah, I hope it encourages other writers to write with the character because he is like, you know, it's another version of the same character, but a totally different kind. Not like the Heisei one where it's just like, oh, it's just bulky, winged Angurus, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, and yeah, three, a GMK rep. We can't use 
Ghidorah because we have too many Ghidorahs. We already discussed yeah, this I issue. Could, yeah, yeah I, I could go into detail, but we're not adding another Ghidorah, so GMK is out. Right. Varagon is not distinct enough in his either his actual uh in his actual match and his actual uh, fictional like the, the 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 prototype one that he was going to use in this version the same version Angiras was in right uh he was given his heat the uh heat ray and like he uh, was able to uh not heat ray he was able to exude heat he didn't have a heat ray like he, yeah he was just super heated With, yeah he was like again fire rodan like if you want right. to picture like a, what that ability would be like imagine what fire rodan is uh that that that's essentially what Baragon would have and then Baron could glide so like like and then Mothra that Mothra is interesting but I think the stinger ability is done better with legendary yes like that that implementation and then you have the uh and then we are then you have the it's not a pure Mothra and that's what we're going to be doing with the uh uh Mothra Hesa he, that's why we're eliminating Mothra Hesi uh so it's kind of like this was the best option of all the options on the table because people love that movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Kaiju X came to me on the table, I was like, yeah, this this will work. Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah. who doesn't like Aquarius? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it, be, yeah, just because of the pickle we're in with the KWC front, we're not going to be seeing the others being implemented. Baragon and Vron just aren't distinct enough to... Because, like, Vron has, like, no new abilities to him either. So it's like they're not like too distinct enough from their original counterparts to really replace them. Even if we do did add the supernatural component, it was like, and that was also the other reason I sort of uh, tweaked Angira just a little bit to give him the supernatural component because I figured this is our only guy. You know, we could take influence from the final movie and the prototype, and you know, call it good. He is the he is the Yamato Guardian. Like, that. that's very much... You get the hint in GMK what they were going for. I think the best... He would have been the uh, Ghidorah Yes, he would have been the Ghidorah one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so... And, and Ghidorah, very much through that movie, is very... Like, all the monsters are very spiritual. So, like, yeah. it's... This movie... I th this Sorry, this movie. This KWC definitely uh, does a great job in representing that spiritual element. Mm -hmm. And it gives, it gives the monster a unique flair. Whereas... Again, we don't have many ice monsters. We don't have very guardians, like an actual spiritual guardian. So I, I think this was a uh, good compromise. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I hope it's a good compromise for everyone else. I understand everyone probably still has a lot of strong enthusiasm for Guardian Ghidorah, but I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Uh, Grey yeah, Sh yeah. Shot and I it, it, talked this over a lot. And yeah, it's just not going to happen. It's literally just 2001 and years. He's the only one. We're if, gonna get. if Legendary Ghidorah had not been as well received as he was, then maybe you would have had a shot. Yeah, maybe. I agree. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the fact that Legendary Ghidorah was so was the culmination of all Ghidorahs. It, it basically ensured that he was getting in and. Yeah, GMK kind of lost that fight. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh... One rep. One rep is enough. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And you know what? One rep is better than no rep. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, with that said, I no, will. Can't agree. Uh, with that said, I will read what uh, Birdman has written in the Discord since he cannot speak. Uh, beautifully, a beautiful written match, both as a debut for Angira and a sequel to Match 88. Glad to have this guy in the KWC, and I'm glad you agree. Uh, this one, this was definitely a match where it's like, uh, I definitely had like other people look it over for editing purposes, just so I can find out, because I think this ultimately, I often say like I'm proud of my matches a lot of the time, but when, when I look on my older matches, I notice all these faults and flaws that I wish I could have gotten the first time around. Or, you know, go just go back and edit. But this is... I think this is going to be the first legit time I could say I am proud of this match. Uh, and I think... It, hopefully it represents all of my strengths as a writer. And, like, everything I'm trying to match my standard to with future matches. Like, I want everything to feel like this. I want everything to be as well well looked at as this you know well written you know decently paced i just want to make sure i could be the best like not only the best kwc writer i can be but also like 
just the best editor for the KWC in general because it took me a good five years to finally reach this point where I feel a lot more confident of my writing where I can fe where I feel like I can I think I could probably also give like elaborate tips for other writers so they can get better too because that's a very confusing that requires a lot of self-discovery and really kind of opening up to other people being like hey could you look at the uh, like other people who aren't yes men <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> Dick blasted. Uh, hey, I I gotta go. Yeah. All right. See ya. See ya, Bacon. See ya. Uh. Yeah. And just yeah. Uh. Yeah. I th yeah. Just yeah. Two eighty one holds a very. Yeah. Just holds a very special place for me. Uh, and I, I think it's probably going to be one of my most important matches, even if the match itself is fundamentally basic. Uh, like, it's not a crazy plot, it's just a nice resolution to another match, which I have also o always sort of looked up to, or always very much looked up to, one I really loved and enjoyed over the years, and occasionally find myself revisiting, so I'm glad I have made a, a worthy successor. And I would also like to say I did share this match with Stephanie Hughes, who wrote Match 88, and she really enjoyed it. So, uh, I'm like, awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that this is a worthy successor to Match 88, because that was not something I took lightly when I conceived of this match in my head. It was like, no, I want to take it, like, as seriously uh, as the other one, as, as the original, and, you know, serve as a natural continuation of that story. So... And again, you did, a, and, I, and I argued that you did a really good job with that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's see. Uh, do we have anything else to say concerning 281? Or do you think we... Or I'm trying to think if there was anything else I needed to say about 281. I think that's pretty much it. I, I don't think there's anything more about Ingrera. A cool addition to the KWC. Um... And yeah, you can use the name, hundred <laughs> like, percent. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, yeah. Oh, to clarify, and, uh, right? For those unfamiliar, Angira, which is the alternate name for the character, is derived from the the proto GMK, where Veron, Baragon, and Angiris all had. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, oh hey. Oh god, you can get your thoughts now. Uh, Joe, I can Joe, hear I myself. Can hear myself. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of get sick too. You just meet yourself when you're not talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. All right. Uh. Anyway. anyway. I can hear myself again. Hear myself again. Damn. Damn. Yeah, Joe. Just meet yourself just until you're sure you're talking. You 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 you. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh. Anyway. But yeah, to clarify the Angira name for anyone who's curious of, what's well, like, why do you keep calling him Angira? Uh, Angira is the alternate name for the monster that was used in the proto GFK draft because the Guardian monsters all went by different names. Baragora, Baradaki, and Angira. And it's basically his ancient name. And then in the movie, they are those ancient names are kind of like reconverted, uh, I guess kind of like converted into modern Japanese, in which they are called Baragon, Varon, and Angiris. So... So while the character is officially, like, you know, this is officially Angurus, another version of the character, uh, you could still find Angura hidden in his Japanese name. So, because that is the name used for the character, so. It's also the name Godzilla uses for Angurus. <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> Uh, Wait, does he really say that now? In... Oh yeah, in the dub. Hey, Angira, or something like that. Yeah, that's right. Holy crap. <laughs> that was unintentional. Ah, okay. I did not know that. I Yeah, I used to say it all the time. I was like, oh yeah, look at that. that completely unintentional. <laughs> uh, Nathis By is... the way... By the way, yep. I guess this means that Ingeris is no longer Ingeris, killer of the living, the fire monster, because he's an ice monster now. <laughs> that that only applies to Showa Ingeris, mate. Eh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just tick blasted. Alright, 
Joe, uh, I will be silent for a little bit, so that way you may speak. Uh, what are your thoughts on your Match 281? Well, I actually did read it. <laughs> uh, it was really good. Uh, it's a great continuation of Match 88. Uh, I like the the characterization of Anguirus and <laughs> Angura. Uh, the fight was really solid. I like the I like the use of uh, Angura's ice powers. Um, it was really, really cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the supernatural element was also great. Uh, it really fits with the GMK uh, feeling that Angura should have. Um... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Really solid, really good match. Alright, and the banner? Uh, the banner was cool. Alright. So, uh, Nat, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. So... <laughs> No. Hang on a second. You're, you're... He's here, but his mic isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He... Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. Wait, let me try. Let me try. All right. Yeah, I, I can hear you. I hear, you were just kind of. Okay. Uh, okay. I can hear you now. Okay. So, man, I swear, every time it feels like, oh, let's get on to the next match, a new person comes in. <laughs> and it's like, is this going to be it? Is this all the praise I'm getting? <laughs> anyway. Uh, joking aside, Nat, uh, what do you think of match 281? Uh oh, you're uh, glitching out again, man. Okay, let me let me do. All right. Uh... Okay, I'm back. All right. I liked it. It was great. All right. Cool. Uh, could you go? <laughs> uh, all right, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, any, uh, any more like elaborate thoughts on it? What you liked about it, so on? Or I liked how it continued off the best, off of the best match ever. Uh, I liked the new Angiers very much. I thought we would never get a new one, since you guys hate Final Wars or Fiery Passing. <laughs> Bold assumption. I mean, come on, we we don't have uh, wait, we have a. Uh... We literally have Monster X and Kaiser Ghidorah. Yes. Haters, haters. <laughs> Look, lower the age limit, guys. Look, lower that age limit because too many Final Wars haters in this server. <laughs> Let in all those. Peel from from MIB in here, fellas. Oh gosh, no. Uh, anyway, uh... oh damn. Preschool time. By the way, is MIB still in the server? I think he yeah. is. Uh, Let me yeah, check. he is. He is. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Epic. But nevertheless, uh, but yeah, like, I guess just yeah. Anything else or? Eh, I liked it. I'm. I... I'm just very happy we have a new a, a, a new and gears to, to to fuck around with. Well, in that and, case then, and if, can uh, kill off horribly. Yeah. Well, with that case then, we can now dive right on over to our next match, which our is our most recent match. Yep. Two eighty two. Mothra Leo and Mothra Hesse versus Mega Gears. This match written is by Joshua Reynolds pink. and banner by myself. Yes. Absolutely. All I have to say, I'll just go out of the way and say this here. Tyler, love the banner. Uh, I am saying that unironically. I love the fact that it's all in the sky. 
er, I think there are elements that are blended in very nicely. Uh, the beam of Mothra Leo could have used a little more flair, but, you know, that's just me. The after image from Megagirish, though. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my favorite instant. Like, whenever I can do something unique with a monster, I, 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 I try to uh, incorporate that. And the after image from Megagirish... I, which, it, again, I, I say this many times, it is why I think she is one of the most powerful kaiju in existence, is because she literally can go so fast that you can't see her. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that, uh, yeah, that just screams cringe. like, oh, that's a little bit overpowered. Up. Actually, there is one kaiju faster than her. Who? Final Wars Godzilla, of course. Gosh darn it. <laughs> With that, plot me at speed to bolt across the world in one night. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, I remember reading, like, I hadn't had a chance to really look into this one to see what changes were made. I do remember reading it when I first got it, though. Uh, I I liked it. I think this is a good match from MM with a little bit more of a story, a little bit a little bit more of a story component. Yeah, I got this back in like I don't know twenty, I don't know like four or five years ago or something. So this one's kind of been on, this one's been on the waiting dock for a good while now. Uh, but yeah, I think the match is. Like, you know, yeah, the match is fine. I really do like it. You know, once again, getting the Shobajin twins in there is good stuff. Uh, there, yeah, there is a nice... I think the fight goes at a good pace. And, uh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I don't know why the words are not coming to me for this one. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so yeah, uh, this is a really nice, uh, really nice one from Joshua Reynolds. I really enjoyed this one. So I'm sorry if that was super basic. I'm yeah, M mentally, <laughs> I don't know why I'm mentally not there right now. <laughs> Deep blessed. Uh, in the meantime, well, um, I guess we'll. I guess I'll go next in that regard. Yes, but uh, honestly, yeah, uh, this is an, uh, Josh mentioned an older match. I would definitely agree with that. Uh, it is a bit older in the tooth. It has a bit of a longer setup for what is, in essence, Mega Gears just randomly attacks the island. Um, it's still very... I still quite enjoy it. Le uh, obviously, uh, one Mothra does better than another uh, because reasons. But... Uh, and I w But I will say the ending is satisfying. It doesn't feel gypped. Uh, like a lot of uh, Mothra matches can do. So I will say that. Regardless, though, um, overall, I would say this was a very entertaining match for me personally, and one that I am glad uh, MM was uh, able to write, one that was able to get posted. In regards to, the, uh, with a very satisfying ending. With the banner, though, oh, uh, yes. it was very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, I always love using the after image effects when I can for Mega Gears. And yeah, in this case, it's, I wanted to put that on full display. The fact that you, oh, you're, you think she's one place? Oh no, she's already gone. So doing fun, like little trickery like that was very entertaining for me when it came to creating this banner. Um, excluding that though. Uh, Mo having Mothra in the background, like staring off, realizing where Meg Gears actually went, was also a nice, little, fun little nod for me that I enjoyed. Um, but yeah, minus those things, uh, the beam was also a nice effect from Leo. I wanted Leo to be like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, it, again, it's said in the match. If, if 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 she actually got hit by that, the it, this would be game set match. Mm -hmm. But as we know, Meg Gears is a little bit faster than. A lot of monsters give her credit for. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was that was by far my favorite uh, thing to add to the match. But excluding that, um, yeah, this was a ton of fun to create. Probably one of my favorite banners to make in a while, and I'm very happy how it turned out. Uh, Nagoto. Oh, you... with major oh, with ahead. major creds to Ultimate uh, Ditto, I think for giving me the Mothra image on this one. I think he, I, I, it was from the Monster Roundup. I think he's the one that posted it. Um, 
I had, or maybe I sent it to him. Regardless, I had this Mothra on image, and I was very happy to use it once I could. Oh, okay. But I guess, Nagoto, what are your thoughts on this match? Love that banner. Love that after image from Mega Garrus. The beam looks nice. Could use a bit more glow, but it looks nice. Really like how you set the banner just on top, on top of those clouds. Uh, match was okay. I really, uh, Mega Garrus is one of my favorite monsters, so I was really looking forward to what this match would what would happen in this match when I saw Mega Garrus was in it. Uh, did not really disappoint in the Mega Garrus part. She was at least nice enough to give Mothra a burial, at least. Wow. Well, uh, fingers cr burial with, you know. <laughs> as for the like the ending, I kind of expected that to happen at the end, but the, the way Leo turns into Rainbow was pretty interesting. I, I, I very much played homage to like the first movie. I, I I very or like the reverse. a little corny but still like yeah no satisfying mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah I think that's it for me for now and also like in this stat someone died in the match and now someone's dying in real life connection <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> uh Anyway, uh, Nathus, what did you think of 282? Uh, what I think of it? Touch it yet. All I know is that Mothra dies again. Because that's all writers can do with her, with her I guess. Just have her die continuously. Hey, it's how she wins. She dies and has her child finish the battle. Ah, child labor. Yeah. Good job. At its finest. Yeah, I didn't read it. Uh, I, I, I just got swallowed by the thread. Uh, speaking of thread, that was kind of hilarious. Uh, the hindsight, that was like, I think there was a big old discussion going on about wins. The Hasty Mothra. <laughs> right, about like victories and losses of monsters, how some just have more than others. Then along comes this match, which gives a loss to both Mothra and Mega Gears, who are like two monsters that lose a lot. <laughs> so it's like, I and My point is, it Emma doesn't matter. I know, I know. In regards to. I, I never understood the argument of, oh, why doesn't this monster win more? And it's like. It's a statistical thing. Because people thing. keep making it, their Yeah, moves. It, it, it doesn't matter. Right, it, right. The journey, the journey there is more important than the destination. So, it's like, as long as the main read itself is sad. Like, the only people who are probably complaining about that, especially at this point, are probably the ones that just skip to the end of the match. It's like, oh, my favorite monster didn't win. It doesn't matter how they won or how they lost. Apparently. My... Godzilla lost? Yeah. I'm not reading this, Matt. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, it, as much as I, I love Mega Garrus, I don't really mind that she loses so much because, you know, Mega Garrus is just great. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, for as sure. Long as, as long as she's still being used, I'm fine with that. Agreed. Uh, thank you, Nagoda. I think you reflect Grey Shot's mindset perfectly. Like, it doesn't matter if she wins or loses. She's still getting matches. She is a Yep. And plus, you know, I mean, she is a brutal from the retirement list. Mm -hmm. Yep. Unlike some others, uh, which we'll get into later. <clears throat> Poor Daigoro. Poor Goliath. I mean, who? Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'll read something from Birdman that he posted. He said, The use of Rainbow Mothra was a nice twist. But aside from that, it felt average. More than likely due to the age of this match, which I do have to agree with, because this is an older MM match. Still sad that Uncle Mothra is not in the Kato, has not been used yet by anyone else. I know. Uh. <laughs> uh, technically, I used her in my match with 
Both for Leo versus Meg Gears. Oh yeah, that's right. Light speed. You know, more... Wait, did you? Yeah, I used yeah, light speed. More more than light speed, not more. Let's go fight underwater with a giant moth. Wait, what I, about the, the Eternal honest, Mothra? There, I, I don't know. There's not a lot of underwater KWC matches overall. Yes, and we just have to remember. I to used Aqua Mothra once. Yes, an armor <clears throat> Mothra for crying out loud, armor Mothra. <laughs> What, what what about Eternal Mothra? Eternal, I mean, we're not really going to use Eternal Mothra because she uh, he never fights. Uh, we never fights. Yeah, we don't know the yeah. abilities. We the he's pretty. He has some of the abilities of armor, but we don't know for sure. We don't before, know for sure. because of that uncertainty. We don't use the character. Yeah, he's pretty though. He is pretty. Yeah, that much. Better. Actually, again, a reference because I do use Eternal Mothra in the Mothra. I make. No like the passive form and he tra he go he turns back into rainbow as like his offensive capability hmm yeah that works i guess that works yeah because i mean i yeah that... it like i almost seem like armor was just it's like a power up almost like it's armor right right yeah it's hard yeah it's hard to say with armor mothra he yeah armor mothra is a little eternal mothra specifically is a little more tricky just because it's like we don't know what that one's capable of like I would just use logical deduction and probably think that he probably has some of Armor Mothra's powers. Maybe like the laser beam? Maybe? But I haven't laser seen the beam. movie in a long time, so I really don't know. Yeah. And again, without doing speculation, we're just not going to... We're just going to go with the other monsters because mm -hmm. we don't know his base. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. So, until I can conduct further research by, you know, watching the movie. <laughs> uh, agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I... Uh, you cringe right, movie. Match, I, uh, I going to like the original statement, which is why does X have to lose? My my end point would be always, it it, it like these it's this, there isn't like a giant hive mind behind the KWC, which there is like, dictates the match. There is not no. Um, when a KWC match is uh created, there uh, all that you see, all that there is, is it just put randomly based on like the writer and such things. So, like, I understand people having, like, why didn't this monster win? But at the end of the day, the reason why X didn't win or isn't because the writer... Th there isn't, like, this high mind saying this monster should win because it hasn't won in a while. Right. Writers just write what they want to write, and we post it because it's good. Yes. If you wish for the monster to win, then you can write a match where the monster wins. Yes. I think that was a common trait with Gamora winning a whole bunch. Then he got... Then he lost a whole bunch... Uh, ton of matches i think even so. shola kong too like you know he won a whole bunch then started he losing died. a whole bunch yeah yeah so but once again that's like it's up to you the individual if you want this monster to win or lose it's not like this is some kind of calculated move by the leviathan aliens or something <laughs> it isn't nope <laughs> we are not controlled by aliens <laughs> We have free will, I guess. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, I think, like, you know, the fact that certain monsters lose more than others can be, uh, like, lose more than others is like, you know, it can be a bit of a bummer, but, you know, at the same time, it's just like, you know, maybe it fits the match. Maybe someone who was being biased Maybe Kaiju X is being secretly controlled by the Natarls. Uh, who knows? Wait, I have, a, I have a question. What? Was there like, like this whole series of like matches with Monster X losing in, in like all these different ways? Uh, that was the trilogy. You're thinking of the Monster X trilogy. Uh, match 64. Yeah. Match 64. Gabra, Gorosaurus. And which ended with 175. Yeah, that yeah. that was done uh, more so of monsters. But I probably wouldn't. Again, now knowing what I do now, that probably wouldn't happen in current KWC. Mm -hmm. good, but good. yeah, th but again, he, like I that's because I know MM. If I didn't know MM, then that probably would be just fine. I'd probably you know still post the matches. Right. <laughs> so it, it, it's just because I know MM is the reason why that would. That turned Not out the way it did. Yeah, 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 totally. So, yeah, I totally have to, uh, yeah, agree with that. 
So, and plus, like I said, 150 <clears throat> is a byproduct of our early years, as we put it. So it's like, you know, we're still, like I said, five years, we've been getting the hang of this whole key to BC business, and we're still learning and exploring things, and getting, I'd say we're getting better. I would definitely say that. And hopefully, I tend to agree on that. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be seeing that with this year's series of matches and so on. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, that's it. I think was there something somebody said? Okay. Uh, who hasn't said anything about two eighty two? Oh, Joe. Uh, Joe, what do you think of two eighty two? Well, I didn't read it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, the banner looks good though. Guys, I'm looking for the fire button. I really don't see it anyway. <laughs> hey, I, I read one match this month. <laughs> Wait, keep him. He read one. <laughs> I'll read the next one. <laughs> I'll read every other KDUC that comes out this year. That's your New Year's That's resolution. Your New Year's resolution. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only every other. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, with that said, uh, yeah, and I think that kind of covers a lot of our basis. Uh, the KWC, let's see, concerning the status update for the KWCE, uh, the KWCE awards are currently ongoing. We'll be going over the results of those come next month in the next podcast. So we will be going over that when we get there. Uh, so I'm not too concerned with KWCE stuff right now. And hopefully the KWCE will be resuming in February. Back to the once a month basis. However, uh, another thing... Ah, nah, I'll save that announcement for February too. So so in the meantime, you guys just... Uh, uh, yeah, I think right now, I think we covered what we need to say. And Grayshot, would you mind leading us into the... Uh, Big events for the month, the KWC Awards and KWC Survey, and what have you. Oh yeah, thousand percent. So, as was hinted by Kaiju X, stated by Kaiju X, this month was the KWC Awards! Yay. Our annual celebration of all that happens at the KWC. Yeah, begin applause. Yay. applause. There we go. There we go. Boo, yo, Sting! Dig blast it. Uh, yes. Where's so, the tomatoes? So, in essence, uh, with this in mind, we have created a, or uh, not created. Uh, well, yeah, no, we created an award. Uh, we created a survey to uh, tally the awards for this year. We had eleven categories, and yeah, it was a very close race for a lot of them. Uh, some of them more so than others, but. I shall go down the list and, uh, yeah, point down the uh, the responses. So first up, we have their top five writers of 2019. Again, ton of great submissions this year, but in regards to the actual match itself, there can only be one, or I guess these five winners. So in particular, what you have is, number one is myself uh, with the best KWC the, uh, for best writer. Number two, we have Andrew. At number three, we have Joseph Steinar Jr. Number four, we have Connor Clennell. And at number five, we have Matthew Fries. Uh, I think in regards to these people, in regards to, like, if you're wondering what the, they have made and what, you know, really makes them stand out, I would definitely say for Matthew Fries, it was match 273, Showa, or sorry, uh, Godzilla Reiwa versus... Uh, Godzilla Reiwa oh, and versus Mothra, uh, uh, Shin Godzilla with Mothra. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two seventy three. Uh, Reiwa, uh, Godzilla Reiwa and Mothra Leo versus Cranky Ghidorah. Yes, for Connor Clannell, uh, basically every ultra match that has ever been made. Uh, Joseph Steiner Jr. He's the one that did the Bay or uh, Bayam versus Team Exilians in essence. Uh, that hit this year, and then at number uh, number. Two with Andrew Sudamersky, uh 
with bulks the bulks are dan unveiling and then his hand in 275 uh definitely an essential part those were those, those were def- like the only things i wrote for 2019 <laughs> this is true because you are working on a whole bunch of cool stuff uh when it comes to next year oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but uh regardless of that we also have uh yeah and then myself probably with 275 i think it's because people know it for my uh because it's quote unquote to my match uh and then that coupled with um probably 280 with the christmas special everyone being on everyone's uh fresh on everyone's mind i think those are the ones that everyone <laughs> would definitely draw into to if i were a betting man <laughs> Uh, concerning 275, uh, just make sure to add Gizora, Mothers, Dome Fighter, Angiers 2004, Gizora? Godzilla 2000 versus Mother Leo and King Ghidorah 1964. Anyway. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, next up we have the best 5 KWC matches of 2019. So these ones, uh, in regards to a wide selection, I, I'll go from number 5 up from now on. Yeah, sure number thing. 5, we have Match 280, Angrias, Baragon, Godzilla Hesse, and basically the entirety of Monster Island, because I can't see the whole match from the survey results. Uh, <laughs> versus the Garla. Number four, we have Godzilla Legendary versus Godzilla Hesse, round two, which was match 261. Oh. At number three, we have match 273. Godzilla Rewa and Mothra Leo versus Grand King Ghidorah. Number two, and this is probably the biggest shocker of the year, Match 249, Godzilla Hesse and Godzilla Legendary versus King Ghidorah Hesse and Grand King Ghidorah. Holy crap. Nagoda, congratulations. Yep, Nagoda, Nagoda got number two. And at number one, Match 275. Uh, to be honest, I think this one was probably the heavy hitter of this year. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, so... But, regardless, um, we have... Afterward, we have the best, uh, or sorry, the three most original KWCs of 2019. Uh, this one was a little vague, but in essence, this was looking at the most unique matches of the year. Uh, if you wanted, like, the what everyone was looking at for this. So, with that in mind, uh, for number five, we have match 255, Bulk Zardin and Daigoro uh, versus C-Rex versus Zandora, Woo-hoo. which I would definitely agree as being one of the most unique matches of the year. Uh, afterward, we have uh, match 249, Godzilla Hesse and Godzilla, the King Ghidorah tr- uh, pair. Uh, afterward, we have match 273, Godzilla Rewa and Mothra Leo versus Grand King Ghidorah. With Ma- uh, and then, at number two, we have match 280, Anguirus, Bear- well, essentially the Christmas special. Christmas special, <laughs> just, just call it I'll that. Just eat- yeah, the Christmas special. Uh, then at match 275, we ha- took the number one space for the most original KWC match of 2019. Uh, afterward, we have our best banner creators. So these are the people that definitely put their stamp and made the matches unique in their own way. Uh, so as I said, for the top three best banner creators, number three... Dao Zhang Mao, aka Nagoda. So massive shout out. Uh he probably did the most banners, I think, of 2019. I think so, I yeah. Think. Yeah, and his work definitely showed. And number two, we have myself, uh, with match with uh only uh five matches for this year. Uh but at number one, the heavy hitter of this year by a good margin, Andrew Sudermerski, oh. aka our good old Kaiju X. So wait, I'm, yeah, I'm for the, the number one banner creator? Yeah. I th- actually, let me... I thought there would have been uh, a Jackson Morris up there somewhere. Jackson actually was number five. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I will post... Here, I will bring these down so I can show you guys. Well, bam uh, I'll probably do this now that you can have a... I probably should have been doing this, but that way you can like post right, something. Yeah, post it. Yep. Yeah, totally, totally. So that way everyone else could just take a look at it. It's like, oh, hey, who's, you know, who's been doing it? Yeah, yeah. What? That way you have a visual representation in uh, in the podcast. But regardless. I'm going to need it for, for the others too. Can do. But for the top five banners of 2019, 
we do have quite a selection. Ooh. Uh, for match five, we have uh, two, four, ah, it is match 273, Godzilla Reiwa versus... And Mothra Leo versus Grand King. And Mothra Leo versus Grand King Ghidorah, yes. Uh, for number four, we have match 280, the Christmas special. All right. For number three, we have match 249. For number two, we have match 270, which is the Bagan versus Team Exilians. And at number one, we have match 275. <laughs> but I would consider that one bit of a paid so technically i would honestly give the best banner to match 270 all right because 275 kind of gets it and i don't think it deserves it because it was a commission so just just a little bit of a note there what i would consider the personal so if you want number six it is technically match 261 which is the godzilla vs godzilla round two. Oh sweet man i've been getting a lot of banners in this time <laughs> yeah there's been a there were a lot of great banners year especially oh and a special note uh right below that was tom's 250 banner so that one i believe deserved a little bit of a little bit of a shout out mm -hmm. but now for the uh the best new form of 2019 Ooh. uh this one was down to the wire but it was a tie if believe it or not between the legendary trio and godzilla reiwa this one was down. Godzilla Rewa had this uh, throughout most of the match, but the legendary trio unveiling nicked it out by that much. But because Godzilla Rewa had it originally, as you can see, it got the uh, it, it stayed up top. So I would consider it the moral victory for match two seventy three for Godzilla Rewa's appearance. And I would also make note that that match was amazing in regards to Rewa and Godzilla Rewa's like character. Mm -hmm. So I think you could just call him Shin Godzilla. <laughs> Yeah, well, the fact that yeah, the fact that uh, Shin Godzilla was fighting against a trio of monsters, I think, is pretty impressive for his debut. Mm -hmm. The fact that he tied with three. Uh, I kind of what I kind of looking back on it should have broke. I feel like I should have broken that up into uh, oh. each individual Mothra, Mothra oh, legendary, right. Man legendary, King legendary. I guess, but um, if you did it individually. Mothra wouldn't be second. True. Yo, no, yeah, yeah. Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah would not have been second. I agree with that. Oh, King Ghidorah would have been second. I'm not yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel this would have been... Rodan, I think, would have been third, with Bulk Sardan in fourth, and I'm not sure where Mothra would have been. Right, right. But yeah, the I fact that Shin... Voted for Mothra. Right, the fact that Shin Godzilla could compete, was competing with what was essentially a three-in-one slot. That's impressive. That is impressive. Yes. So you definitely have the talents of Matthew Freeze to thank for that with a nice, balanced... Like, like balanced uh, interpretation that doesn't go too far, at least within yep. within the context of the actual fight itself. Yep, yep, yep. Next up, though, we have the please pick the three best uses of a kaiju in K the KWC. This one is basically does this do like which monsters basically did they nail the character? And in this case, uh, I'll list the top five below. But we have match two forty nine at number five, two eighty at number four, the Christmas special. 270 at number three, which was the uh, Big Ember's Team Exilians. Match 273 was number two uh, with, Godzilla, with Shin Godzilla's first match. And then at number one, match 275. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and I for all those, I would definitely agree. Uh, now, here is another one, which comes to... Oh, also... For this one, I feel like this next one, I feel like I messed up a little bit. I should have had a top three instead of what I did, which is pick your first. Uh oh. So it's going to seem a little skewed. Regardless, though, uh, for number three, so it was uh, please pick the best use of human or alien characters in a KWC match in 2019. For this one, I'm going to list the top three, which has match 249 at number three. 250 at number two, the Tom match, and at number one, match 275. So, I'm still wondering how I'm getting so many votes because you, you here's the thing you're using Godzilla's against Ghidorah's. You'd be surprised how much people will gobble that up. <laughs> yeah, people love this. I wrote that when I was 15. Yep, I still don't know how I was getting that much. So, and plus, I'm more than confident Tyler at least 
Oh yeah, I did some editing on that one. To that. <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> oh, he, uh, we'll get to we'll get to surprises in a bit. Trust uh, me. I'm, I'm gonna post this here real quick. I mean, you guys aren't gonna see. Just go to the memes. <laughs> Grayshaw announcing his matches, winning the KBC Awards. <laughs> That's a winner right there. <laughs> to be fair, I have no bias. I posted it, thank you. Uh, like, uh, but also, uh, oh speaking gosh, of victory, that's great. Uh, uh, speaking of victory, uh, you know, might have won the so best narrative might have been number one again. <laughs> Just, just saying, oh, not 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 bragging oh, yeah. or anything. Just humble brag. Uh, no, no. In all honesty, match two fifty was number three. Match two seventy was number two, Dang. and at match two seventy five was number one. Again, I should have did a top three on this one. That's my bad on this in this regard. Mm-hmm. It was a group effort. We all get part of that award. Yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, and then last one was the, here, let me open up. Oh, there we go. I can space this out a lot better. Okay. So now I'll send the best images, uh, to you a little bit later, Kaiju X, but uh, now that I, uh, a little bit more room, uh, best new writer. And this one was between Zeb Dennis, Jules Forsberg, and Joshua St. Jean. And I have my personal and then there is the one that was voted for. Yep. So the best new writer of 2019 was Zeb Dennis with match 264. To which point I have to say I did a lot of heavy editing on that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Yep. <laughs> and so my apologies for not have doing a better job. That's it. I am personally, like, this is just me speaking personally. Like, just me. Yes. Joel, uh, Joel Forsberg, I think, is a really good writer. Like, I looked over. Yeah, I. I other matches that he has in the lineup, they're both competently written. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're all, like, super competently written for the most part. They are well done, and uh, you'll probably be getting them real soon now that I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I thought, personally, I thought the story of uh, match 258 and the execution of that match, also the fact they didn't have to edit as much, gave me the uh i uh, if you want my if you uh, as the kwc head i am going to say this my personal choice was joel forsberg mm-hmm. but i will respect the community with zeb dennis winning best new writer of 2019 and then uh at number and then for the last one it was please pick the best writing duo slash trio of 2019 the options were uh the christmas special Andrew and Harley for match 255 and match 275. And uh, this was the biggest shutout of the entire uh, survey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, to be expected. Also, it was technically a lie because it wasn't a duo slash trio. It was like seven people. You know, it, point, ma- point being group. Uh, writing group. That should be yeah. the terminology used for like stuff like this. So there should be writing group. Because it's at least two people or more. Yeah. Regardless, though, in regards to the KO, thank you. For- Again, this was a celebration of the community. And honestly, I think everyone did wrote some fantastic banners this year. Everyone did a lot of great work. But I will say this. I think 275, 270, 273 were just some knockout blows, like match after match after match. And I think that was kind of representative in regards to uh, the KWC as a whole this year. Though I will say, Nagoto with 249 was like the surprise entrance of this year. And I think that also had a lot of sticking power. That was the Jumanji of the KWC. I, mean, yeah, I think we'll go over the stats of like 2018 year. next year. Yeah. But that one was the most viewed KWC of the year, I'm pretty sure. I think 275 was second to that one. Jeez. But 249 was still the top KWC match viewed, if I recall correctly. Mm-hmm. Jeez. <laughs> also, you can write banners. <laughs> you miss, uh, you missed, misspoke, Grayshot. <laughs> oh, whoops. You are the other half of Rich Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I don't, I don't know how to feel about 
that match getting so much stuff in there, considering that's the match that I always look back to as what not to do. Listen, okay, here's my recommendation. Cater words. Here's what you do. You get you get a uh, you get a uh, KWC match. Okay, go go with me. Get a KWC match. Add Godzilla Legendary. Add a Ghidorah, and then uh, make a make a good slash great banner with it and you're pretty golden yes like, if you want the secret to the awards do that and you're set there have been exceptions now to that, this match 185 that, i think is the biggest one like that. i think match 185 was the biggest <laughs> exception to add like defying the rules because 185 i think blew everything out of the water oh yeah definitely uh i am posting now the, the I'm not posting the better images for you, but now it is time for the funnest part of all this. This is the please write your favorite moment of a KWC in 2019. So this one, you're going to notice the trend, but I'm going to go over the highlights. Again, I'm not going to wrote these like I didn't, these are anonymous, but. Uh, Tyler, I need a uh, section number three. You gave me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll post them as I go. Okay. Uh, but oh, I see, I see it now. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll give you the better shots. The survey a little bit wider, but the uh the here are the top uh moments of the KWC in 2019 by the fans. Ooh. So all right. Uh, starting off, I'm just gonna go. Uh, tell me to pause when you want. Shin and Godzilla. Shin, Godzilla, and Mothra Leo hugging. Aww. Began eating Ebra for lunch. <laughs> uh, best moment of the year was probably the Cataclysm match we all worked on. Gee, I wonder who could have written this. Hey. Nagata writing this, by the way. Gee, I wonder who could have written this. Probably the best narrative, story-inducing, and kaiju action match of the year. As for the moment in the match, it has to go up. It has got to go to the call of subjugation scene when King Dora arrives on the main Earth. All the kaiju roaring out in defiance to this new conqueror on their home. The whole of 275 that he was something of a peak in KWC history is equivalent to Infinity War or Endgame for fan fiction. Amazing work on behalf of everyone, and I eagerly await more in the future. Mm -hmm. Monster Earth King Ghidorah's Alpha Call once he reaches the main Earth. Everything about it is an amazing character moment for both Earth's Kaiju and MV Kaiju. Everything in match 262 and 266, which uh, for those that wish for a reference let me pull that up 262 was red king versus skullcrawler and 266 was Daigoro versus goliath by uh, uh landon. landon soto yes. which i would completely agree with that mm -hmm. those were uh one was very brutal and one was actually just a just a great match mm -hmm. uh actually that brings me to my one point which was max match 266 was robbed uh, for this year and not getting at least a one ward. I will say that, Landon, you definitely deserved it for that match. Mm -hmm, for sure. Next up, mm -hmm. the Leo powered uh, the Leo powered legendary trio killing legendary Kiryu and legendary Godzilla teaming up. The fight scenes in general. It was when legendary Godzilla destroyed Leg when Shin Godzilla or Reiwei Godzilla teamed up with Motha Leo to kick King Ghidorah's ass like the badass he is. Mm. The battle between the new versions of Rodan and Mon uh, Gray Shot, you're Gatra cutting off for like a million times. Oh, sorry. The battle between the new versions of Rodan, Mothra, Godzilla, and Ghidorah against Leo, Batra, and the Skullcrawlers. Gorosaurus finally returning after three years. Wait, what? Yep. Has it really been that long? Really? Yeah, it has been a while since it's been on the... Gore Source, my boy. Where are you? Holy crap. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, Gore Source was found dead in Vegas. was his last one. Well, now I gotta... And his banner gonna... wasn't too great in that one, to be quite frank. Like... 182... Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. Holy moly, it's... It's been like 98 matches since someone used him. Holy crap. That's that's over two years. It's like essentially three years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dang. Yep. That's yeah. Wow. That's incredible. 
Yep. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of monsters that need a little bit of a spotlight. Oh, yeah. And Glad Gorosaurus could get a little bit. I, I will say, I did not intend for his, like, the Christmas special to be him losing. Like, I never really put that together, but after I was like, oh. I mean, you got one cool moment, at least that. Every monster got at least one cool shot. Oh, yeah. He got a little bit of standout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, like, t like fun fact about the Christmas thing, for, you know. <laughs> Or, you know, Grey Shot was like, uh, I just wanted to make clear who won and who lost again. And then Grey Shot was like, oh, everyone wins. And I was like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Dagara clearly defeated Junior, Gorse, and Gorosaurus. And then Angier's return for the end of it. <laughs> we need losers. <laughs> no. no Everyone's don't. a winner. You get a winner. And you're a winner. Even Dagara's a winner and he lost. I mean, I mean nah, okay. he's not a winner. Unless he really wanted to become cremated, I don't think he was the winner. I'm just saying <laughs> this right now. So, yeah. Uh, regardless, though. Um, yeah. Uh, scrolling down. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. Shin Godzilla's face turn against Grand King Ghidorah. When Shin and Leo become besties. <laughs> Mothra, Lee, Mothra convincing Shin Godzilla to fight with her. Yeah. Well, him. <laughs> <laughs> Match 273. Godzilla's transformation to save Mothra. So, uh, when Godzilla atomized the skull crawler's head. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Kaiser... Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I just have to say, heck yeah, I love that bit too. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiser Ghidorah wrecking Bagan. Where Kiryu and Godzilla team up, team up each other against King Kong and Mechanic Kong, making Kong versus Godzilla and the Mechanic Doppelganger alike. Yes, uh, that's all I have to say. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mothra Leo's reasoning to help Reiwa Godzilla. Uh, match two seventy five. Uh, two seventy five takes the cake. Keep up the great work. I liked how the character of Shin Godzilla slash Godzilla Reiwa was handled as a whole. The final battle between the monster vs. King Ghidorah and Mothra Leo and the... The part in Red King vs. Oh, sorry. The part in Red King vs. Kamakris when Red King brutally bashes them into the ground. Hmm. Oh, wow. When... Yeah, there are, there are moments like people have that, that are just the big ones. Like... When Orga had absorbed the powers of Crystalak and Goliath in Match 278 and the way they used to fight King Caesar. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say a tie between Godzilla Railway taking down Grand Ghidorah and pretty much all of the Cataclysm of the Monsterverse. My favorite moment was in Match 258 when the male Muto, being strangled by an electrically charged Kong, used his EMP to disable Kong's electric powers and defeat the Big Ape. Too many matches involving King Kong have him routinely win via Deuce X Machina. Lightning Storm, or other electrical power source come in when he's seemingly beaten. It was nice seeing this ability actually fail for once. I wholly agree Wait, with that. that. I wholly agree. That that was probably the best written answer of everything I got, and I 100% right. agree with that person. Whoever you are, 100% agree. I think the ending to Match 275 was a fitting conclusion to the whole saga, spanning all the way back to Match 200. The story kept getting better and left me wanting more. The characters, especially Nick, were well developed, and there was enough room in these stories to get some character development, even in the big moment. Roar, <laughs> roar, yes. Uh, love the Cataclysm match. I liked how Godzilla Legendary was portrayed in Match Two Seventy Five, a washed-up Godzilla who decides to redeem himself. I a hundred percent agree. That was a character arc I very much wanted for that Godzilla. He very much seemed to fit the bill. Uh, Legendary Ghidorah killing almost all of the combatants in his debut. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The moment when Legendary Godzilla teamed up with Kiryu to beat Showa Kong and his robot twin. When Godzilla Legendary gained burning form. Bulk Sardan. <laughs> Bulk Sardan. <laughs> yes, just Bulk Sardan, nothing more. Uh, Shin Godzilla teaming up with Mothra Leo to defeat Grand King Ghidorah. When Godzilla Legendary became green burning Godzilla. Like Godzilla Legendary's King Ghidorah, which I think is 249. Is I'm pretty sure what this is referring to? Pretty sure. Uh, the action. The character back and forth in 250 was fun to read. 
Godzilla Legendary's arrival in match 275. Legendary Godzilla and Kiryu teaming up. Uh, the participation of Ultraman and Ultra 7. Uh, two, match 275. The arrival of Shin Godzilla. Busting out Kaiser King... Uh, Wait, you mean 273. Sorry. Wait. No, the arrival of Shin Godzilla. The arrival of Shin Godzilla in... Yes. 275? I think he means the, the 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 how he was debuted. Or do you mean 273? Like no, no, it was... No, 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 it was match 270. It was 275 match. Yes. It. I just said match 275 to make it easy. And then the arrival of Shin Godzilla. Oh, two, two, separate two separate things. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. That sounds like one thing for a second. Though, I like the idea of Shin Godzilla showing as the good guy just like hey guys i was misunderstood last time i swear no th that no they were clearly referring to the end bit when shin godzilla comes out of the egg and you know dawdles to the ocean <laughs> uh busting out kaiser Ghidorah to fight bagan and sh am i and the last and probably one of the best ones shin gojira realizing he had a friend and powering up to protect him Aww. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bust out the Oz. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know friendship is the most powerful thing in the universe? You know it is. <laughs> yep. And also, just don't forget, Bulk Sardan. <laughs> yes, Bulk Sardan. Uh, but yes, those were, that was pretty much everything from the KWC Awards. So, yeah, it was. Overall, uh, a lot of good responses, a lot of good feedback. Uh, thank you to everyone who voted, everyone who participated, everyone who left their responses, to the banner creators, to the writers. I assure you 2019 was a stellar year, and hopefully we can ramp it up for 2020. We got some big stuff planned, and yeah, it's gonna. It's looking like it's going to be a uh, another stellar year for the KWC. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. So, do you want me to dive into the survey? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Do I, well survey, well knock, survey. Yeah, I might as well knock that all out yeah, now. We did so much in one hour, haven't we? Uh, it's, it's been an hour. Yeah, over an hour, but yeah, you know, like an hour. Uh. So. Oh, I also want to say that we got a good response rate when it because we have a lot of people that uh, look into the sur like look into the awards, but they don't respond. Uh, the survey is usually where we get a lot more uh, responses. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I do appreciate that, that we got a good amount of feedback in this regard. Oh, yeah. Because uh, not everyone reads every single match. So, which was the... I'm not going to go over everything in this because technical background stuff. Okay, fair enough. Like, fair enough. Uh, yeah. But in regards to our percentages, um, I'm going to focus on the ones that uh, probably uh, matter the most. So, in regards to, like, uh, how you would rate the overall quality of the KWC, we had an overwhelming response, uh, to which point I will show, well, bam, bam which was bam. great, good, or exceptional, where the definitely boom, the majority boom. of two, basically 95% of the responses were, yeah, this is, yeah, the KWC is a great addition. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. Six people <laughs> think otherwise. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But now, uh, also in regards to the which type of story do you prefer, uh, I did I did like this one because you had this one person that was like, I like 100% character development and dialogue. <laughs> And I'm like, what KWC are you reading? <laughs> That's crazy. Don't you know, they're just reading your matches without the monster action. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, though, I think I'm going to focus on two that matter the most, which is for the monsters, uh, the top five monsters you want to see added to the KWC in the future. So... For this one, this was a a I noticed the trend early on and then it quickly dissipated because the wolf man was in the top five was number one. Hmm. Uh which I which my guess is because it's everyone in the immediate forum or like here that were like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf Man, oh, definitely. Right. And then the immediate shift once this went public, it was like, Okay, I get it. 
you guys want the behemoth. Uh oh. It's not, because the behemoth, it's not behemoth is the number one requested monster for the KWC. Oh and yeah. let me just say Shit powers activate! He is being prioritized. Yep. Heck yeah. So let me say, Behemoth, if you want to read a match with him, go ahead. You mean write a match he, with him? Yeah, if you want sorry, yeah. If you want to read it, it, yeah. what powers can we use? So uh So the mon so in the top five monsters, I will say, is Behemoth mm -hmm. was number one, King Kong uh, this obviously Monsterverse. King Kong Monsterverse was number two, Muto Prime was number three. Komodothrax was number four, and Ultraman Belial was number five. Now, again, I want to stress, not all these monsters are KWC applicable. Uh, Belial, the Wolfman, these are two monsters that we don't and can't add to the KWC at the under current... Yeah, at the so, moment, under current circumstances. What, I've added them, though, why put them because on there? they are still ability... There's still ways we can get around that. I won't spoil it, but there are ways we can get around it for fun matches that might involve these characters in the future. If, if April Fools! <laughs> yes, April Fools. There you go. You spoiled it for everyone. <laughs> Just kidding. Piss everybody off at once. Uh, no, there might be, like... It's more so the idea of just gauging what people would probably want. And even if it is outside of KWC jurisdiction at this time, it's still good to gauge the audience with a idea of who they want is to there, see in the game. Is there like, like, yeah, even though, like, like the, I will say, the survey, the survey and the stuff? awards are just a percentage of the, a smaller percentage of what the overall, like, the amount of views and feedback we actually get. Yeah. Um, it does give us a better picture of the five people in the kwc staff yeah, yeah. that i talk to on a regular basis mm -hmm. like it, it gives us a much broader picture and in this case it is loud and clear what monsters you guys want uh what i will say that stuff. do not write a match with monster vs kong as of yet we don't know his abilities we don't know his powers wait yeah we do it, i mean kong like, Skull Island, we, son it counts Wait, I mean, it no, does, th yes, but we don't know. This is confusing me because else. because we got the go ahead before to try to Kong match to pro that right, right for this Kong. I I would say I think what Gray Shot's trying to yes, say based is based off Kong Skull Island. Yes, but what I'm saying he's, is well, he's trying. Don't to... see you won't see anything posted until after the movie comes. Out. Yes, is that a monkey? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Gray Shot's whole point is yes, he's getting in. It just won't be until after the movie's out. So that way we can make a final assessment of, you know, powers, abilities, and whatnot. Yeah, because... Laser dick. I, for instance, if if everyone writes a Kong, uh, King Kong Monsterverse match, and they based off Skull Island, and let's say there's a match that has him fight Gabara, and let's say they, you know, they bring back his electrical powers to show him, just as an example. All right. And that has a factor in the match. That plays a part. Like, Gabra shocks him unconscious. And he, you know, King Kong loses. Mm. In that Ridicule situation, let's publicly. say if we know he has left movie, I would then have it like, okay, we can go back and, you know, edit it. Or let's say he has the ability, for example, to like a fire punch or something. Like, he, you know, has fire powers. Yeah. And he fights Baragon. And Baragon beats him with the fire ray. Gonna have to go back and edit that match. Right. Or, yeah. I, so I see to avoid those situations, we are going to wait till the match to release. And then we can start posting matches based on the final version of the film. Yes. Well, that way that well, we yeah, don't have anything that well, goes against what the movie showcases. Yes, of course. I mean, that's so the fine. That's fine. Lower monsters. Oh, are, the other monsters. There... So number yeah. three, uh, we had Muto Prime. Uh, number four again, we had Kaminothrax, and number five, Egg. we had Belial. Belial is a situation where there are rumors and stuff that might something might happen, unless that happens. Yeah, he, that's the only way he's going to get it is something happens with Toho and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I will say, though, we are looking very strongly when it comes to the Godzilla the series monsters. Um, <gasps> we understand that many of you uh, like monsters that you are familiar with. And obviously, like monsters like Cybersaur, uh, Sea Baragon, Achilleon, Rock Mutal, Shin Shinomura... Those monsters are a little bit too rare for the average person to get in use, which Shin also does confirm. This stuff. Well, this well, this kind of feedback does go in line. We wanted to know, like, hey, if you had a choice to monsters, which ones would you choose? 
And I mean, I'll post it now. I mean, we won't go over it, but the overwhelming majority is monsters that the average person does n is not exposed to. People just like, why add it? Um, which there is an argument to be like, well, there is a reason these monsters are unique and there there's a reason to add them. But at the same time, if we are going to put priority on one monster over the other, let's put focus on people mo uh, monsters that people want compared to monsters that people don't want and then don't want to read. Um, okay. So the, pe the people have spoken. They want a shitting elephant. Let's move on. You know... <laughs> He was very cool. Yes, he was very cool. Uh, yes, we'll like it. All five seconds. So, in regards to monsters, uh, Godzilla the series. If you wanted to know the monsters that we're looking at the most, Crackler is definitely not one of them. But ah, shit. And even though Comedothrax was voted number four, her addition is probably a little bit more uh, up in the air than King Cobra. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so yeah, King Cobra. King Cobra from Godzilla the series. I would say, if out of any of them, the Naya. I would um, love King Cobra. Regardless, though, other monsters like the Visitor, other monsters like Eva 01, Gigamoth, much more up in the air. And if they were to get added, they probably don't have as priority as the other monsters. We've heard you loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Now to the other, to the other one, which is. Out of the following, please choose the top five monsters you want to see removed from the KWC in 2020. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and yeah, this one was Shockers. overwhelming right. in regards to which monsters we are going to be eliminating. So, out of all of them, Jakiro is number one, Spyler number two, Wargilgar number three, Femular number four, Zandora number five, Frankenstein was number six. Black Moth was number seven, Maguma's number eight, C Rex at number nine, and King Kong Showa was number ten. Uh. Uh, now, in regards to this, here's the current plan from our perspective. Um, and I'm just gonna go from the top down. Jukiro is getting at the axe. Oh. Uh Spyler and Wargilgar at the moment are, are probably taking the priority though. Because they are a pair when it comes to taking the getting the axe, we understand. So, if you are writing a match specifically with Spyler and Wargilgar, I would highly recommend. Hurry up! You post it. Uh, you write it. Well, probably, uh, probably in the next month. Afterward, it's not going to be posted. I've already That's formed that. verifiers of this, and yeah, the monster, the monsters are going to be getting the axe sooner rather than later. Uh, Bemular and Zandor, as well as Jakiro, at least for the short term, are are not going to be removed. But Please don't, don't retire Bemular. Please don't. If, let's say, there there is a but. If, let's say, there is a... If there... Let's say, uh, for... Uh... The Ultraman monster known as Belial, you know, the Ultra Kaiju, or, you know, the evil Ultra gets in. Ben Mular would be the one that I'd probably yeah. to get him in. It'd be a trade. Uh... <laughs> the, uh, the same way with, like, Chikiro or Zandora, as we get weirder, wackier monsters. If we get a weirder, wacky monster uh, from, let's say, you know, TV, comics, something like that, Press they would probably be the ones to take the axe for it. Yeah. Hachuri Miku in a train. Gosh darn it, no. No. Uh, there are other monsters that we are... They were probably be the first one to take the hit, followed by Zandora, but I think Zandora would hold off... Uh, it'd be the last monster uh, to get the axe. Mm. In this situation, Man, the rest of the monsters sucks. you would probably see eliminated depending on the number of matches we have received, as well as the fact of are there any duplicates of these monsters? The best example I can put up with would be like Maguma. Uh, there's currently Maguma, and then there's now going to be Behemoth. One of these things is like the other, and one of these things is a lot cooler than the other. So, yeah, the Morris! So, if one were to be added, one might be eliminated. Uh, the same boring. way we go to King Kong Showa, specifically if 
King Kong uh, Monsterverse ends up being a modern replica of that version. Right. What if he does? But only if that's the case. Well, if they're two very distinct kaiju, then that is not going to happen. But if they are very similar to the point where they are literally the same monster, yeah, Kong Kong Showa might be biting the dust sooner rather than later. Right. That's yeah, a might. That that's a giant might. That's a might. It's a might, but it is a possibility. Okay. One that and, I, I am bringing to attention. What, what, what about Godzilla Heisei? Uh, that's... He was an... So there are a few oddballs I threw in here. Frankenstein uh-huh. was one Odd of them. Balls. Mechagodzilla Showa was... Mechagodzilla Hesai was one of them, because, like, Showa, we just added in. Kiryu's kind of the staple. So I thought Hesai might be the, the a good test. Orochi as being, like, another dragon-like monster I threw in. Cyber Godzilla and C-Rex I also threw in. And not... And, again, you can kind of tell where the focus was just by the sheer amount of volume on, like, the monsters, which is, we understand, the TV monsters and the monster, like, from obscure Japanese, like, obscure Japanese TV shows people do not want to read and or write for. Understand? Got it. Cringe. Mm -hmm. Orochi's a two-in-one thing, though, if you think about it. He's a monster, and he could be a human character. Yeah, but again, I, 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 there's no threat in Orochi being this was more so a. I'm doing. I'm trying. I did trying to gauge the audience. Like, yeah, I threw what? out. I threw, uh, I threw monsters in there to to ba- to basically be like, because I if I just had five monsters, then then it, it's not really of a choice. But if I throw in Frankenstein, Black Moth, Maguma, like other like also Dark Horse candidates, that you know not that they're not a lot of monsters. They're new additions that haven't gotten a lot of entries. Maybe monsters that haven't gotten a lot of matches in a while, like. That was a main consideration for Mechazilla Hessa. With the, they, they haven't really gotten a lot of matches. Um, C-Rex and Cyber Godzilla, kind of the same way with them being like TV-ish monsters. Because again, look at Cyber Godzilla and C-Rex compared to Jakiro. Like, they're all TV monsters, but there's a definite shift in responses from of some compared to the others. Mm, for sure, for sure. TV monsters people have seen versus TV monsters that's hard to find sometimes. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. What? What are Frankenstein then? What Frankenstein was in regards to repeat. Uh, uh, Santa, basically Santa. He is another Santa. Yeah, he's another Santa. I thought the Titans really distinct. Um, I thought the Titans. Also, yeah, that, that was the main consideration was the addition of the Titans. I probably should have uh, had the Titans in retrospect on this. Again, something to think about for twenty, uh, you know, for next year. I, I'd still say uh, the Titans are still I, moderately newish. Can I? So. Can I say like my stance on this quickly? My stance on this. Sure. Okay. I'm not a fan of retiring these strange monsters, so just adding the new Flare of the Month Monsterverse stuff. I'm sorry. I'm just n- not a fan of that. But no, it's understandable, are... and there probably will be some people that, again, share your opinion. But the point of the matter is, there are... we The KWC, the reason why we... Okay, everyone asked, why do you have a roster? Why do you have a certain list? It's because... We could include every single monster, but that's not the point of the KWC. We have a ro- we have a select roster. We have Such them fans. right, and they are supposed to be the best incarnation of that character. Um, we have standards. Yeah, we have writing standards, and we also have monster standards. Um, we try to have the best incarnation of each character. That way, when a master's written, it is the best version of the character, hopefully written in the best way, maximizing uh, the enjoyment of the reader. When you have a reader having to read Jakiro, Spyler, and Wargilgar, and they have no interest in the match, it's very much a you, there's less people less people read it, which means less people, which means that it is entertaining less people, which doesn't which isn't a bad thing, but obviously people want to see new monsters, and if there are, again this goes back to the editions, we can add C Baragon. Cybersaur or Achilleon, maybe even Rock Tall. But if no one cares about those matches, no one will read those matches. So there is room for obscure monsters. I'm not saying there isn't. But there's also a, a, a note of there shouldn't an, an obscure monster shouldn't take the place. It should it should not beat out when when people are clamoring or asking for monsters to write or read. Yeah. But Behem, for example, has nothing to go off of. He, he has like yeah, he does. Uh, novelization. Novelization provides... Throwing shit. 
Yeah, he's fireproof. Yep. Uh, yeah, novelization has a lot so more details about it. Almost him. every other kaiju is fireproof. Almost every, almost every kaiju. Not Kazora. Well, he's he it because he, he's a fucking squid. <laughs> <laughs> Cuttlefish. It just feels weird that we're all like jumping in to add in a kaiju that that has had, had like 10, 10 seconds of screen time and like some words that, in a. You know what? Novel. I thought about the exact same thing, but we've added yeah, Maguma, we've added Black Moth, mm -hmm. and technically those monsters never fight anyone else. Kumasugami is another one who yep. only has a small role. It was just not mammals. I guess. should move on. Listen, I will say this. If you like another wink wink nudge nudge if you have a kaishin muba batch wink wink nudge nudge uh oh you're probably a-okay wink wink nudge nudge right oh um, my god but the uh because because the, they're it, like even though they don't fight anyone and this and this kind of may help me turn the table on shin godzilla there's still enough there that you can kind of get a basis for it um the so yeah I, I, there, there is enough understanding that this behemoth character has lasted. Has he has to be at least tough to have done that? So I, I, I do point out the fact that even though he hasn't fought anyone, you can still do some cool stuff with him. And I think, as seen by the survey, people want to see some cool stuff done with behemoth. Yes. If no one writes for him, and you know he, we put him back on the survey, and he is actually one of the people wanting him removed, so be it. Right now, a lot of people are finding him interest, and that interests me a lot. So, you know, if you have your behemoth match that you've been wanting to write for the KWC, but knowing that he, you know, I would say maybe give it a shot. He has uh, been given a light, I'll just say that. He's been given a green light. I think people just want more of the, like, uh, elephant sloth part of him. Like oh, that, that's definitely the yes. appeal of him, too, is the fact that he's, like, you know. I mean, he's giant a elephant sloth. Yeah, the rest of the monsters, though, we are looking into. Again, Prime is kind of a hard example because, well, he's a character. Um, there are also other hard ones, like Wolfman. Again, he's a fan film, only can do it for the fun things. Like Belial, he has under some restrictions. Like, there are a lot of these monsters that have their own restrictions. So, even though they didn't get votes, or even if they're high on the, like, there are, they have their own different, like, problems. So, hold off on, like, unless we, like, explicitly said in this video, maybe hold off on the ones we haven't mentioned. Yeah. Or unless until like Toho actually does something with him, like the like the Ava match comes out or something. Right, right. Um, but yeah, for the most part, those uh, I I would for the monsters we said don't write for, I would not writing, and for the monsters we gave a green light for, go nuts. All right. So uh, to repeat, I'll, what are the monsters we have given the green light for? Just in case people may have you know missed out or whatever. Okay, so Behemoth biggest green light. Uh, I can definitely Yay. say. Uh, I should move on another dungeon that's been in development for a long time. So that one's already going through. And then that's Muto Prime for anybody who doesn't know. Monsters mind. like King Cobra, Muto Prime, um, uh, Visitor, Ava, Gigamon, like those kind of monsters. Those you can write for, maybe, but there's it, those going to be yeah. like. I work in progress they might go up they might not those are much more iffy so write They're them it, at your own discretion yeah, yeah uh they are up in the air at the i moment. literally just i literally just got in all of my supplies for my anime match for phone one i i, I just got all in well and, and you tell me this now <laughs> well no, you could still do well, it, 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 it because <laughs> who knows you might still get youtube views out of it <laughs> uh before you uh Oh, in regards to those that we are removing, Spyler and Morgilgar will be getting the axe early in 2020. Uh, Jakiro and Benular are up in the air, with Benular definitely taking the place, uh, would definitely be getting the axe if we add the monster Belial at any time. Hashtag in the future. Benular. Hashtag not. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Frankenstein, honestly, he's kind of like, let, he's, he definitely probably wouldn't be eliminated this year, but something we are thinking about. Um, Black Moth is safe, C Rex, Cyber Godzilla, those monsters are uh, safe. What? The only way I can think about it is maybe eliminating C Rex for King Cobra. I think and that's Maguma a good idea. For Behemoth. Yeah, I, I, can I think those are the only ones. Mm. Yeah, and then Showa again, Showa King Kong for Monster vs. King Kong, but that one's more like a 20 or late 2020, early 2021 type of thing. Yep. Uh, more so than immediate feedback. 
Like Could've a seen, like a seen, accent in the back. Monster vs. Kong. It'd be like a slow kind of like change. Kind of like what we're doing right now with the uh, uh, with the awesome. Ghidorah Hesai. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's being switched out for legendary Ghidorah and so on, or you know, switching yeah, out. Yeah, uh, it was a slow rollout, slow change. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all things mm-hmm. happen in time, and yeah, I do agree. Yep. Uh, but otherwise, does anyone have uh, anyone else questions or any notes? Nagoda. Oh, That's yeah. actually been you are. I was gonna say if Belial somehow does get in, one thing I can see happening is. He tries to do his monster army thing with monsters in the roster, uh-huh. and then in an exi- and then like say, the leader of Planet X comes along with his Kaiser powers, and just turns the monsters against him because you know, M base. Oh no! Shit, that'd be cool. I mean, that'd be cool. Don't get me wrong, but that would have to make the bold assumption every single monster in the roster has M base. <laughs> Or the ones that we know have M base right. turns against them. Okay, at least that. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Okay. Oh right. Um, also, I should note there are. Again, I will be choosing one person uh, or one match out of all the matches for your right to your number one KWC match request for twenty. 20- oh yeah, that's right. Okay, what do we got? What do we... that? Oh, yeah. That one will be chosen and posted on the main site. Oh okay. So, that yeah, there'll be a awards uh, article that go up. That goes up, I should say. Uh, detailing all, all the winners, so I'll probably just, uh, yeah, I'll probably just update the KWC like awards. Uh, probably that will be going up again. There might be some changes. This is like the ninety nine percent of the votes are in, but in case there's any minor changes, it'll be caught by the end of the year, uh, or by the end of the whenever when when the, when when this is all posted on the first of February or like the first days. Uh, but yeah, look out for the number one request because I will try my hardest to get that match up for 2020. Uh, regardless though, um, yeah, uh, thank you for all your feedback. There was a lot of tech, less more like the awards. So mm-hmm. thank you all for who took the time to vote for it, uh, or to give us some honest feedback. We greatly appreciate it every year. And let me just say, as of recently, we just, massive overhaul of the kwc operations behind the scenes Mm -hmm. so expect some awesome stuff uh coming up in 2020 with this introduction uh it's gonna be a lot easier to post matches a lot easier to communicate with uh, everyone in the staff so some awesome stuff is gonna be coming up very shortly yeah, I may or may not have vaguely alluded to it the very beginning before you came in may or may not have (laughs) uh I like I I wasn't too explicit because I wasn't sure how much we were able to talk about or if, even if we were going to talk. I mean, about we can it. just basically say sell uh, workbook. <laughs> that's that's. Been... Well, what was that? You we you cut things, off there, man. We made an Excel workbook of all the KWC matches ever. <laughs> so we're organized. Mm-hmm. Finally. Yep. So, yes, so... it only took five years, but the transparency element. And the uh, the other elements that I that I posted in the proposal nearly five years ago are now finally being implemented. Finally, so hopefully you kids will be seeing your matches up sooner rather than later. Uh, hopefully, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> so, oh boy, I have a lot of work to go through <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay. So. And even if you're part of staff, you get some juicy details of monsters. We'll, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you get to see all the cool behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah. Uh, if you're part of staff, don't tell anyone. Naturally. Yes. Don't tell a single soul. <laughs> or we will find you. And they will kill you. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Uh, yeah. uh anyway whoo yeah that was a lot to go over today hot dang that was crazy that was crazy yeah so yeah but do you guys want to do a do a what battle oh kwc oh i was gonna say do you guys want to do like a round of kwc battle to celebrate the uh new year yeah yeah, sure thing i mean kick it off with the kwc battle why the heck not 
So okay. Hey, why don't we do this? Uh, do you guys want to do instead of three? We could do five. Wait, what? Oh, that's gonna be a big mess, isn't it? Oh yeah, there we go. We celebrate the. We do a. Uh, we have. We pick five instead of three. Uh -oh. We could do that. Uh, start off the uh, year strong. Gotta start off the year strong. Might as well. Yeah. Why the heck not? <laughs> okay. So let me pull up a random number generator and get these up. So again, for those that don't know KWC Battle, we pick up, <laughs> uh, we get a, uh, we pick, in this case, eight matches, and we judge them based on the best banner, best writer, and and who would win in a tag team brawl against all the others. So wait, in this situation, uh, wait, five. What? Yeah, we're going to do five. You said eight. No, you said five. Oh, no, I, I said five. God, I'm not I'm not that insane, Nagoda. <laughs> it would just be nine. No. <laughs> First up, number one, we have match 252. Oh, that's an interesting one. All right. First one. So, yeah. What's the second one? Uh, which is, I should know, Ultraman versus Kamakras. Gauss versus Kamunga. Ah, uh, uh, number two, we have match one thirty-seven, which sounds familiar. Oh yes, one thirty-seven, Jaguar versus Ebera. Ah, okay then. Well, in that case, then I'll post that one. There we go. Uh, next up, we have match one seventy-four. And Greer Showa versus Titanosaurus. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right. Two more. What do we got? No whammies. No whammies. Oh, we got a whammy. We we got a whammy, guys. Uh, match fifteen. Legion versus Destroya versus Desgadora. Oh wow. This is gonna be crazy. And last, but certainly not least, we have in our final spot, uh, match 225. Oh, wow. Oh, wowie. Legion versus Mechazilla versus Grand King. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, wow. We have a... You know what? I, I have a feeling for the final round. Bad. Hold off on that to the end. Yeah, I have a very... Uh... Well, there's, uh, hmm, that's, that's not complicated at all. Anyway. Yeah. So basically, and for the first round, we choose the best banner. So we look at all five of them and we decide which one, uh, we like the most, which one, uh, hmm. Yeah. We basically choose the one we have enjoyed the most out of all five of these banners. And dang, there's a lot of good choices to choose from. Oh yeah, technically six banners to choose from. Wait, which one? Luckily, I'm with? not the first. Looks to Kaiju X. Oh, go on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> KBC Battle Kids, here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got all the banners in there. Okay. What is 170 doing in there? Because oh, I. Don't know why oh. I threw in 170. Oh, let me delete it. Oh, sorry. Let me let me try again. Got it. That. Delete I it. I, can get rid of that I said 174. How dare you? All right. Anyway. Uh, with that. Oh, thanks, Dakota. So, uh, with... just ignore the uh, 170 in there. All right. Good. <laughs> well, nevertheless. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. There's a lot of tough ones to choose from. Huh. Hmm. I will give special notice to EJ Seuss 225. I like the angle. I like the way it looks. But I feel like comparatively to the other one he did, I think 275 is a far better one. And I still think this one's just a little... Uh, it's not bad. It's got a nice angle, but it still feels a little lacking. Especially when you compare it to the monster that is uh, 275. Uh, Banner-wise, I'm actually gonna... Oof. It's a really tough call, but I think I'm going to give it to 137. Uh, the There's a really strong, like, the torrent of storm and atmosphere, the crashing waves, 
you know, Ebera, just Jaguar look fantastic. They blend in really nicely. My vote is 137 for Banner. So. Oh, hey guys, why don't we also put a, the worst as well? So we, we'll get plus one for best and then maybe minus one for worst. Oh, that's actually not a... Can I go next? Actually, you oh, know what? Okay. I think the worst. plus one, minus one implementation would probably be better than the... Uh, the uh, team up thing because i feel like the team up thing's too subjective it is far there are too many nah, 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 nah. team up thing's the best part it's basically yeah. writing fan fiction and fan fiction i don't know that's, that's a... why it's a kwc that's battle a that's the whole point it should be best comments for the ones on the blog format nope. <laughs> <laughs> i don't think any of these have the blog format nah, none of these do darn it <laughs> We could make that. We can make that a special note. Well, next time we do caters, will be only the newer matches. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. I, I... But yes. So if we have plus one for Judge or uh, uh, which one did you choose? Right. I chose one thirty-seven as the best. Yes. So who did you choose as the worst? Oh, no, that's the problem. These are all very solid quality banners as. I unfortunately am gonna give it to fifteen. Not so much that it's bad; ju- it's just average relative to all the other ones, which just ha- which have a lot more going on. And you know, two fifty two gets the plus of being a GIF banner, so it's like you know, that helps. So uh, I'm gonna say worst is fifteen. That's just relative to the others around it. So okay, uh, for myself, I'll keep mine short. I would hundred percent. 137 is definitely the most detailed it's kind of, in the battle is it, it's just amazing the uh the amount of detail in that shot um it is like next to like the closest to like a trade with motion that we ever had so i would definitely go with uh 137 is my best uh for my worst uh i would also tend to agree with that legion versus destroyer versus does Ghidorah. That one gets my negative vote, not because it's bad, it just doesn't do anything different. It just has all the monsters on the screen. Whereas all the other ones either have a unique angle, uh, unique action, uh, different angles to the action, so- something a little bit more crazy. Uh, that one is the most generic, and because it is the most plain, it, it does it is the worst out of the out of the rest. Nagoda, your thoughts. All right. So I'm just gonna say this now. You guys, you guys didn't fix the banner for 252. Uh, fix the banner. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, K- Kamanga still cut out him in the second <laughs> picture. Wait, really? Yeah, Kamanga still cut out. Like, no, it's fine. His legs are in. It's fine. Uh, yeah. It's fine. No, it's not. It's fine. You can see his web spray, and that's it. Oh my goodness! I didn't even notice! I didn't even notice! Listen. He died partway into the match, alright? Well, I don't remember how the match (laughs) was. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually just representing his match. He's not really... It's too long. Okay, so for the last banner, I'm gonna give it to... Let's see here. Uh... I'll give it a Jago versus Ebra. I like that storm look in there. As for the minus, I'll give it a 252 just for my banner because Kamonga is cut out in it. <laughs> okay, so we've got Jago versus Ebra with three points. Yeah, or no. Yeah. Our, our, yeah, one, we're, yeah, we're one. Doing it at the very end. Doing it at the okay, end. Okay, doing right? it at the end. Fair yeah, enough. what are your choices? All right. Uh, oh, yeah, Nagoda one. Nathis, uh, which one do you think is best banner? Which one do you think is worst banner? Uh, the best one. Uh, I like the Angiris versus Titanosaurus one, to be honest. Oh, cool. I like how like all blends in together. And and yet, you can like still make out the monsters in the image. Mm-hmm. I, I, think, I just think it looks really pretty. My least favorite one. Now, nah, don't kill me for this, but it's two twenty-five. Hmm. I don't think drawing banners mess well with the K K W C in general. This is my take. 
I don't think so. I think this is definitely, I think drawn banners are a unique opportunity. Drawn banners specifically. I think they should be like, like big events. Like 275 Bacon was and hell. Uh, 275 was definitely an event worthy banner. And I think a lot yes, more effort was like really put. Th that, for example, yes. Like Bacon and hell, that, that kind of stuff. You mean Oregon? Is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for example, like if, if, like a, uh, Ghidorah Hell happens, that's a big event. But wait, never mind. I just saw that Legion versus Troy versus the Death Ghidorah banner. Oh, you just saw that one wins. Oh, uh, wins. For, that one wins. Wins for worse. Yeah, that one wins. Right. No exception. Okay, fair. <laughs> Take my wards here. All right. Oh my no, God. Ghidorah, don't you know? It just looks like a poor Photoshop. It's an old one. It was early days. It is an old one. It's it's number fifteen. It shows it. It shows its age, not in a good way. I'll put it at that. Okay. Well, here, uh, ZBJ, do you want to rate your your top and your work since you are here in spirit? Spirit. Uh, I will say that my favorite is. Um. Jaguar vs. Zebra. Uh, <laughs> really like how that one looks. I lo I like the motion of Ebra uh, and the rain effects, and it looks really good. Uh, my my pick for worst is match fifteen. It's aged like milk. <laughs> <laughs> touche, touche. We're in that case. Then we go out and so Jataka versus Ever gets what, and Legion versus Destroyer versus. Des so now we're going on to best match. So which one did you guys enjoy reading? Uh, so Kaiju X, why don't you start us off? All right. I know one of these. I have. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna take a hot. Hot minute, I think. Hmm. I can dive in if you still need a sec. Uh. No, I think I've come to my conclusion. In the midst of of the five here, story wise, I'm gonna give it to two fifty two. I really like the story to that one. I think uh, Connor did a really good job with its uh, story, just the way things sort of carry out. It's the one I feel like I can confidently give best give my uh vote to because the others i feel a little bit more mixed about when it comes to you know, like you know conveying a story or just telling a good match and what have you so i yeah i do th my vote's going to 252 for its more narrative components so i guess that brings it back to zero if we're still applying the point thing well we do we tally it up at the end okay tally it up like we it, it's like now like right now at judging Rock, uh, Legion, uh, match is negative. All the others have zero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so. Okay, so, for me, I'll keep mine short. Wait. I honestly, for best, would probably go with, uh, 225. Um, followed right behind by, uh, Ultraman vs. Kamakras vs. Gauss It's really good, but I personally have a slight bias to the, uh, the action and uh, the character moments of my match. Yes, I know bias, but being honest, um, the in regards. So, oh, two twenty five has my plus one. The fact of the matter, though, is for my worst match, I would say honestly, it has to be in Greers versus Titanic because I, I mean, I, as the KBC head, I read every single match, but and I remember and. Even like Legion vs. Destroyer vs. Desgador, I remember reading the match. And I remember how it ended. Uh, in Greer's vs. Titanosaurus, it really didn't leave any lasting, lasting impact on me. To the point where I actually had to look up who won at the end. So, for me, I honestly have to give the point for worst. Mainly because memorable um, to In Greer's vs. Titanosaurus. Yeah. Nagoda, what are your thoughts? I also didn't give my worst. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you. I only gave my best. I did not give 
get the chance to give my worst. Hmm. I liked 174 fine. It may have been more run of the mill, but I did like it enough. Uh, like it, I think it's serviceable and fine. It was, and I think 15 kind of falls under the same sort of jurisdiction in the same way. It's like, it's somewhat fine, somewhat. It's a little this this is a tough one for me. But maybe because I actually remember it more because we may or may not have re read it recently. <clears throat> actually, no. Uh, maybe I don't know. This is negative. Like negative match is a little hard to say. Oh, two fifty two. I'm just kidding. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I probably I maybe because I like. Yeah, yeah, like 174 15 were decent. Like they serve their purpose. I feel like 137 is the one that's getting my vote just cuz there were elements of there are still really good elements in there. Do not get me wrong. But there were some points which felt a little too cheesy for me that I ju that just didn't really jive with me, especially with the uh, Takashi character. I think the way that was handled was a little bit more on the poor side for me. And I don't know what I'm going to say in the Committee Reads video that comes out. Uh, I'm sure it's <laughs> very similar. But it did feel just... There were just some elements of it that felt a little forced to me. Uh, nope, I can definitely agree with I can definitely understand that. As the, but Nagoda, what are your best first? Well, considering two of these are from the same storyline, uh, I'd probably have to go with... Uh, I'll go with 225 for my positive one. Mostly because I like how basically Legion is there, but then Legion is, sees Grand King Adora coming and realizes that is the bigger threat right now, and they go straight towards him. Plus a little mind control of the pilots. And the mis, uh, uh, misspelling of one of the pilots' name, turning it to Salami. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> As for worse, I'm going to go with uh, 174 because I do not remember that one at all. Fair enough. Oi. Hey, oh. We are doing a KWC battle now. Yep. Oh. So, uh, next up, not this. Give us your results. But, uh, what would you think is the best match, and what do you think is the worst match? Best match and worst match. Which one do you think? Again, just of the bunch. And I think he's dead. So why don't we have, uh, Fat Big... Boo! Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's actually alive. Oh, no, he's a ghost. He said boo. Uh, best one... Z Zagor versus Ebra. Best one there. Worst one is. Hmm. Kwa, Hannah 2, Legion versus Destroy versus Deskadora. Okay, 15. Alright. I don't like my master's full of these slow moving, chunky, hasty monsters. But you love them. Just beam spam. Every one, last one of them, they're all chunky and wonderful people. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Moto Moto po Kaizu. God damn it. Well, in that case, then, let's check out ZVG. His best. Just call him Joe. Alright. All right, I think he might be typing his results. I cannot tell. Joe Mama. Yes. Best is 137, worst is 15. All right. So with that, I think we have a general tie. I think so. With uh, 137 and 15 getting number one for worst vote. And with uh, 225 and... Um, I no, I think two twenty five just gets the most. Uh, let's see, 
Yeah, 137 has a, like, you know, plus four in the banner, plus two in the writing. And then you just minus one because I kind of voted worst on that one. So it's like... What, uh, you're, we're just taking... So it's just it's just overall majority. So it's just plus one and minus one. Okay, right, right. So right now it's just... Uh, so I just think it's a tie. So we'll just do... Here's what we're... So T25 has got plus one. Jajago vs. Ebra has a point five. And, yeah, Legion vs. Desgadora has now a negative 0.5. So now, with uh, Legion vs. Megazo, Hesse vs. Grand Tour, let's figure out who has the final battle in this free-for-all. Who has the best Ultraman team? Who has the best team? Yeah. Ultraman and Kamakris and Gauss and Kamunga, Jet Jaguar versus Angrius and Titanosaurus versus Legion and Destroya and Desgadora versus Legion and Mechagodzilla Hesse and King Ghidorah. Who do you think would win this Grand Battle Royale? We got two legions, so that means their swarm is kind of out of oh, man. order there. Yeah, because they can control each other's swarms. It's oh, that's going to be chaotic, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I actually have my answer if you'd like to uh, hear this. Please do, because I cannot come to a conclusion at the moment. I have to cool. About it. So... My main conclusion is Anguirus and Titans do do to more flag. Uh Jet Jaguar and Ebera are just gone. They're dead. Uh mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 this match really comes down to um match fifteen and match two twenty five with Legion, Destroya, and Desgadora fighting Legion, also, Mechagodzilla, and Greg King Ghidorah. Don't forget two fifty two. Yeah. Well, two fifty two you would think has that. But they, only have they are like medium tier really. heavy hitters, and that's like the only Ultraman is like, their muscle in that team. Ultraman is their muscle, but can he beat Destroya? Is the question. Right. I do, and mm -hmm. and and Ultraman and Ultraman is their heaviest fighter. Probably could only take one of their combatants on any of the team. Right, right on an so individual really, level, yes. Couple that with his All views that he has to use both power. Legions using their swarm at the same time on the same person. And they're gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just vaporized. So, really comes down to who do you? So for me, in regards to limiting all other possibilities, it really comes down to uh, which of these monsters, Destroya and Desgadora, are they superior to Grand Kingadora and Mechagodzilla? And the major weakness so, that you have here is Mechagodzilla Hesai mm -hmm. because Desgadora so is a monster of has a better team? flame, which means that Mechagodzilla Hesai is get absolutely murdered it, in regards to his heat shield's it, gonna reach its limit at some point it's not even also, the, it's not even that if i may interject i'd argue destroya can well, i think as we saw in which one was it i think it was biolante destroya and biolante or destroya broke down and mogera and like hijacked mogera yeah uh so it's like you know they could totally just dissolve go into mechagodzilla oh. and just eat them from the inside like, Mechagodzilla yep. just has those exposed ports, which, you know, will leave him in weakness. So it's like, yeah. Uh... Oh, wait, actually, I just thought of something. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Grand King Adora can mind control smaller creatures, right? Like human sized creatures? I think it's a matter of will. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah, but it's not, he's not. The the moment that does, that, like, destroy, it's just all over. Mm hmm. So. Like for me, going off of this point, it's Mechazilla Hesai. Also, Mechazilla Hesai and more energy attacks with most of these opponents. Like Legion, he can't because it's like concussive. Destroya, maybe, but it's more like a chemical reaction. And and Desgadora, yeah, sure, but I mean, it's going to reach its crip, uh, like there a, is a peak. Point there is a peak point. for that power just because you know we saw that in the movie where very yep. burnt. There's, got... there's a limit. Yeah, there is a limit. So. Especially against a monster that uses molten fire. So, out of all these considerations, if you want to go with the monster team, I'm betting on them. It's match 15. Legion, Destroya, and Desgadora take the win. Because the Grand King Ghidorah is probably the most powerful monster here on sure, like, output of, like, energy. But with the amount of resistance Legion, Desgadora, and Destroya can take, like, the amount of punishment those characters took in the movies... Oh, yeah. They can, Dang, they can probably withstand a dish about just as much. One Horkatana and Grand Kingdora is down. 
I wouldn't say one horn Santa katana, Santa. but you know the, the yeah. whole point is up clo- one Santa horn katana up close uh, from left to right, right. and does it, and he's going to be sliding in half like Frieza fighting trunks. Yeah, I. T- yeah, yeah. So that's my final vote on this. <laughs> I think overall, I'm gonna have to agree with the same sentiments. I think the results will be much closer for me. It's like, oh, it does boil down. I think it's gonna boil down to match 15 because you just got powerhouses left and right on that one. And yeah, Mecha Godzilla Heisei, though he can redirect energy, is far cry from invincible. And I think between. Not even just Legion, which, granted, I think the other Legion will probably have her soldiers just swarm him because he's mechanical. But, uh, like, if that doesn't get him, then, yeah, Destroyer could just break down, infiltrate him, Descadora. Like I said, uh, Extreme Heat will eventually get the better of him. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla is the the linchpin that breaks... The Grand King Ghidorah team. I think if it had been another stronger monster, uh, I would have given it to Grand King Ghidorah. But I think I'm gonna have to give it to Match Fifteen. So I, I almost forgot we also have to choose like which team. I the oh, which one's the worst? Uh, um... Yeah, J- Jaguar and Ebra. They're gone. Anguirus and Titanosaurus oh, can at least take some yeah, hits. I mean, good thing about yeah, Jaguar and Ebra are just gonna get. Wrecked. Yeah, just Jaguar and Ebra probably if you, get wrecked. If you think about it, Jet Jaguar is probably the only one who can probably slow down destroyer or probably take him out if he stays alive long enough assuming we're talking liquid that, nitrogen. Uh, ice breath assuming we're talking yeah. liquid nitrogen assuming assuming uh, of course but then again compared to everyone else he's probably going to go down real fast oh yeah so yeah i i definitely agree 137 probably has the least chance of getting any major hits in at least like i said titanosaurus and angers have some good can get some good hits in Ultraman is the heavy hitter of 252's team, and Gauss has a good, nice cutting ray. Uh, which with Kama- with the Kamakra serving as like a frail uh, hit and run supporters, and Kamaga just being able to spray stuff. But yeah. Uh, also, Kamaga's web would not help against Descadora. That's all I have to say. Yeah, Plus, I don't think poison would really affect anyone on this one too badly. No, what would it do against Legion? It would literally just stick inside her. I don't even, I'm not sure what it would do against Pop Legion. Because she's just, she's nothing but like, she's like, uh, like flesh and gas. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's no real body. blood that could really circulate through. I, that's an interesting By the predicament. way, Flying Legion looks really cool. Oh yeah, Flying Legion's awesome. Mm-hmm. Also, she can fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Le- Legion can fly, remember. Like... Uh, which means that like everyone on 15 can literally go air drape everyone on the ground Grand Kingador is like the only one and Legion are the only and Ultraman and Gauss are like the only other ones that can fly Descador. but can... yeah Descador but Descador has like some insane speed too like Ultraman tries to go up into like the atmosphere to recharge Descador is just gonna like grab him and bring him back down mm-hmm. get over that here fast. Anyway. yeah but, uh, yeah, no. Uh, Nathis, do you tend to agree with all of our general... Uh, he has us muted, out, uh, isolated from the outside oh. world. So, I'm just gonna say this now. Descadora oh. is probably gonna get crucified again, because there's a second Legion here. Oh, yeah. And if you think about it, Grand, if you, Legion against Grand King Ghidorah, it's not really favorable in Grand Kidor- in Grand Kidora's favor because if you think about it, Legion went up against Gamera and she pierced through all of his defenses real easily. Well Grand King Ghidorah also has a uh, very the light shield, but that's only against the energy attacks, really. That doesn't protect you against a giant knife like arm stabbing you through the chest. You're completely right. Yeah that's <laughs> uh, again that's I I kind of mentioned this or this is kind of used in T twenty five, but it's the same Legion Legion's weapon is actually the perfect use against Mechagodzilla and Grand King Ghidorah. Because both of them are supposed to be resistant to energy-based waves, but Legion basically says, nah, I don't play that game, and goes around it by basically having its own type of attack. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, totally. Whereas Grand King Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla, yeah, sure, they can fire at each other, but Mechagodzilla's... Most of his weapons are too weak to pen Grand King Ghidorah's shield. 
And then Grand King Ghidorah, most of his weapons don't do anything unless he melees Mechagodzilla. So they're honest, they're like, it's kind of a, like this ultimate parry system. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Given to, uh, but yeah, no, I guess the, overall, what we can definitely say is at the end of this, <laughs> so we probably won't be doing five more. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep it the three. My gosh. <laughs> yeah, they, but, mm -hmm. but again, this is why you listen to us, is to hear a whole bunch of discussion that probably wouldn't have taken place without this. Yes, that is true. That is true. Whew. Fun ideas, fun situations, fun scenarios, yep. and that's what KWC Battle was all about. Yep. Trist, you know, pushing those that weird situation to its extreme. All right. So, and I think what that's... Uh, so was... Oh, what was that, Nagoda? Oh, it, I was going to say, are the other two going to say anything? I don't know. Joe, um, you have a vote? Uh, oh wait, Nathus is back. Nathus, what did you vote for? Possible winner or whatever. And I, I can say the loser in this regard is. What's I can going definitely on? say that. Uh, who do you, who would be the winner and loser in a tag team? A tag team between who? Right. Basically, the, of the five matches, everyone within their respective match is teaming up to take down the other matches. Oh, this is fun! See, hmm. see, Kaiju X, I'm not the only one. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, well, has his thing on the bottom. I know, I know, I know who's gonna lose first. Probably Angus and Titanosaurus. Oh. Hmm. All right. I mean, that makes sense. They have they have no fancy beams, no, no MacGuffin abilities. Up next is probably Zagor and and Ebera. I was then, gonna say he's literally a giant shrimp. What exactly <laughs> on landing? Actually, it? no. The first one, the first one is to go are the Jaguar and Ebola. Yep. There you go. Then in Gears and Titanosaurus. If that's what it's. Fight underwater, lose. Ultraman, Kamakras, Gaius, and Kamanga go after that. And then, uh, probably Benuar and Goliath. Macaulay also got. Next, oh wait! And then... uh, the... Oh yeah, that one's not. Ignore that, one's that not in one. There, but it'd be funny. That's if it. it. Was. Sorry, sorry. That one probably uh, would have died real quick if it was though. Uh, then it's a tie between Legion, Destroy, and Discador versus Legion, Mechagodzilla, Heisei, and Grand King Adora. I gotta say, uh, Grand King Adora probably wins this, es especially. With the help of Legion and one of the things you successfully kill one of the strongest Godzillas. So, my vote's for them. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Nice uh, change of pace. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Destroy is strong, but but he kind of died like a bitch. <laughs> he lost to the military. Yeah. Who had ice weapons? Guaranteed lost right there, fellas. To be fair, ice hey. weapons, but still. Uh, you know what Mechagodzilla has on the sleeve? He could have, he could have like an ice dick laser for you know. Well, no, no new abilities. Just go default. Does Mega G have his Garuda backpack? Uh, I he can. So. Then that team wins. Okay. I guess. Mm -hmm. Can I say something real quick? Yes, Nico. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, if match seventy, if match one seventy was also part of this, I don't think they'd stand a chance either. Because no, they would not. As, if with one of them disguised as Godzilla, you kind of know who everyone is going to target first. <laughs> yeah. That's a hilarious way to think of it. It's like everyone looks. Everyone looks like Godzilla. Like you. Can. You. No, that, that that's how they win. <laughs> the, it, Mechagodzilla is the bait, and then Goliath and Bemular have to kill everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Bemular may cry. I don't know who I'd want to be in that situation. <laughs> being the bait or stuck trying to be... That, that just sounds horrible. Uh, well, actually... Uh, oh no, Joe left. Descador dies first. That's where dies first from diabetes. <laughs> Dig blasted. Thick Heisei jokes for days. Uh, uh, here, guys, that, I think that's it's going to be... dies. So, what's well, the overall... Guys, what, tally it up. What's the overall winner? Because Joe has abandoned us. If In regards to that, uh, 
like, well, I think we all agree Joe Chaga versus Ebro. It, uh, I think it loses. I think it's the worst of all of this. And then I Hang think. Hang on a second. Let me uh, retally. So. Oh, yeah. By the way, did you get Fat Bacon's vote? It's at the bottom. I mean, oh. yeah, but we do, we do like a general rounds. So one match gets a plus one. One match gets a negative one. So, like, um, I think it's tied between uh, Legion versus Megazel Hesse and Jake and um, I think actually I, th I think it won I think maybe because I, I think Jotaro never lost a point so yeah I think I think two twenty five win and I think fifteen ties with Jotaro for Sabra if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah I think two twenty five wins this one because. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah that's epic. Around. Just b off by one point. Uh, 137 falls behind that. Then there's uh, and then there's uh 252, 174, and 15 gets the worst. Yeah, but they 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 had a near good. They had a pretty. So. I think so. Something like uh, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. So. But otherwise, thank you for joining us for that awesome KWC battle. And we, I think with that, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next month's KWCC. Where we'll be able to go over the KWC stuff and all that fun stuff. So in the meantime, yep. see you guys later. Bye bye. Catch you all later. Off leader Zane.